Last season, Arsenal were top of the league for 93% of the season. But in the end, treble winning Manchester City snatched it off them. Arsenal last won the league in 2004, the invincible season. But that now was over 20 years ago. So we're going to start a brand new series with Arsenal. With the goal, of course, to win that Premier League trophy and the Champions League. Which they've actually never won. And this will actually be the 2023-2024 season. Just like EAFC 24. As we have the three brand new Arsenal kits and updated player ratings and as you guys can see we definitely have a good squad to work with this is going to be a good career mode players like Saka, Jesus, Top and Martinelli of course we'll be making signings we have 95 million as the budget but as always guys in the summer window you guys know it, we're limited to three signings and one in the January and Captain Martin Odegaard actually comes to speak to Arteta saying boss I'm excited for this season really motivated after what happened toward the end of last I really want to push City to the limits this season and Arteta replies it's a mentality thing that we need to work on and i believe we can do a lot better this season there's nothing more i'd want to do than beat city to that premier league title but stopping this city side from winning four premier leagues in a row is gonna be tough this season i mean last season they won the treble so therefore when it comes to expectations i feel this season we should be aiming for top two maybe top three but i want to retain that second spot position and be in a title race and don't forget this season we also have champions league football so that's gonna make it even harder i feel we should be aiming for a quarter final in that so if you guys are excited for this brand new series then leave it a like subscribe if you're new episode two will be out tomorrow so turn the notification bell on of course you guys have actually seen on the title we have kai Havertz. this guy's heavily linked with arsenal irl so i think we should probably sign him and i've been told by a few people that we should sign him because this deal is very close and it looks like arsenal really want to get it done we don't actually have a scout report back from yeah i know what rating is because i actually adjusted it because i don't think this guy's that good eye around. I mean, he showed good potential in the past, but he definitely cannot play striker and he didn't have an amazing season last. So I don't know why Arsenal want to buy him. But if it's happening, we're going to have to sign him. Now, another big player who probably could have made the phone now is Declan Rice. This guy is a beast at West Ham, heavily linked with Arsenal. Man City want to sign him as well. I mean, that would just be unfair. So we need to go in and probably sign Declan Rice as well. That'd be an amazing signing. Question is, where do we play him? We're playing the 4-3-3 with a cam. Odegaard is playing there. Of course, that's his best position. Jujini at center mid do we actually start him there has he been that good since going to arsenal party at cdm declan rice he'd probably play there or we could play him at center mid or maybe move party to center mid let me know in the comments i mean i've just done a google search it looks like they're linked to this guy as well and it's exciting prospects this guy has some really good potential lavia well southampton have got relegated so it would be a very easy signing to make if we really want a new center mid maybe james ward prowse 27 probably 81 overall amazing at free kicks would be a great bench player and to be fair we could do with the center mid on the bench. We have Vieira, who's a cam. And Xhaka is a CDM slash center mid. Do we actually get rid of him, by the way? It looks like he might be staying there. Now, this has been a strange link. But Ikai Gundogan from Man City would cost between 17 and 21 million. Would be a very, very easy deal to get done. I mean, this guy is fantastic at every end to every season. But looks like he'd probably go to Barca over Arsenal. So we do have the scout report back for Kai Havertz. He's 81. He was 83. But I did decrease it, as I said. 39 to 49 million. So we could definitely afford this a lot less than 75 million that they want irl if we go in with like 33.8 million with a 12 cent talent clause they'll probably say yes and they do there we go question is where do we actually play this guy because he's awful up front he can't hit a boat to water his best position is cam that's where odegaard plays he can't even play on the right because that's where saka is or the left there's martin ellis this guy is gonna just have to you know donny van der beek it out calvin phillips it out on the bench um 150k a week that should get the job done with the wages and it does and here's our first signing of season one i mean that new arsenal kit is looking amazing i don't even sport arsenal and they have the best looking kits every season i mean there are a lot of players in this squad we could learn out like reese nelson for example Vieira. jacka does look quite handy to keep hold of so do let me know in the comments down below trust that's now a center four he'll probably be that next year and 82 overall lot of upgrade to the back ben white 82s in Kenko 82, so we don't need to actually improve a fullback. Of course, we do have Tomiyasu, who's very good. Good potential. Long term, I would prefer to use him. Our first player leaving the door is El Nene. I don't know where he's going. He's going to Real Betis for 3.85 million. And also, Enkedia is off to Aston Villa for one year loan. Apparently, a player will get a big boost next year. this striker, English striker in Ligue 1. Balogun, 21 English. I mean, do we recall him? Would we actually use him? Right now, we have Trossard, and this guy looks like he could 
do a very good job on the left as a rotation. And Smith Rowe, I'd kind of prefer to use him as a can instead of a winger. Oh, are you kidding me? Jorginho is out for two months with a broken rib. To be fair, we could actually really do with signing James Ward-Prowse. Odegaard has to center mid right now. Havertz is going to have to come in there at Cam. But we don't even have a proper center mid to put on the bench. This guy will have to go there. We can make two more signings. Declan Rice, Ward-Prowse, Gundogan. The suggestions have got on there for now. Because you guys will get in the comments. I'll listen to them in episode two. And we do have 49 million, which might be a problem if we're going to sign Declan Rice because we're going to need more than that. There's not really anyone to sell, so we're going to have to find someone to get rid of. Roma comes in for Granit Xhaka, 13.8 million. Be fair, there's something telling me this guy is a Mourinho-type player. 16 million. Please, please come back and say yes. That is fine. 13.8. Okay, they really don't want to budge. Probably his contract's expiring soon. 15 million. What are you guys going to say to that? 14.3. We're not really going to get much more than that, so we're going to accept it. Now that he's gone, we have 64 million to spend. I have just realized we have a few players is out on loan, like Nicolas Pepe, for example. We can recoil him and sell him. Oh, wow, look at this guy. Robin Lindgren in the Youth Academy. 17 years young and 73 overall. We have got a wonder kid on our hands here. Promote him. This guy has potential to be special. And look at them stats. For his age, that is very, very good. Nicolas Pepe is off to Aston Villa for 16.7 million. Cedric off to Lazio. And also, we're trying to sell Pablo Mare. 5.5 million real associate ad. And we have a loan offer for the wonder kid Adelana. that will be fine one year we'll accept that and look at that we're now up to 99 million to spend a lot of money case yes down below oh no look who we are first game of the season in the premier league it's manchester city look how strong that squad is man Haaland up top the midfield it's actually playing bernard silver in the midfield we are lacking midfield on the bench we're just gonna have to get this youngster in there maybe he gets his debut before he goes on loan but this right now is the best side we can put out i know he's out Erling Haaland, Phil Foden on the ball. Oh, here comes City, De Bruyne. Oh, no, Mahrez. Oh, and just like that, it's 1-0. Are you having a laugh? They've just gone straight through us. Forget Kroenke. Manchester City own Arsenal. I think that is safe to say. I mean, that is a fantastic goal. So if we want to get anything from this game, a point would be good. I'll take that right now. Here's Kai Havertz. Oh, he's going on a bit of a run there. He said so well. He's going to put it in the... I mean, he didn't even put it in the box. He just runs it out. If there's anyone to get on the ball, it's this guy, Saka, look at him go. Oh, what a player. He can, he's still got the ball. Slips that there to Havertz. Nice position. Pulls that back. Tackles. I do feel Havertz is actually going to do quite well in this side, to be fair. Here's Martinelli. Crosses that one in. Saka's that. Headed. Odegaard wins the header. Gabriel Jesus. Oh, a mistake there, City. Fantastic equaliser there. We took advantage of that poor bit of defending. I mean, what happened here with the header? Rodri went for it. Ode I mean, that could have been a, a foul, perhaps. That's a fantastic finish as well. 1-1. One, one. All right, it's De Bruyne in the box now. Oh, Erling Haaland. That's a nice tackle. Go on, get in. Oh, nice defence. Here's Ben White. Slips that there to Saka. If we get this right, we could go in the lead. Saka is going to sweat that across. Gabriel Jesus, go on with the header. It's kicked away. Either side could win this game with 20 minutes to play. Here comes Erling Haaland. Oh, nice defense again there. And again, Saliba. Oh, there's no way that's a foul. Oh, we're going to have to put someone on the line for this. This is a good opportunity. De Bruyne will go for it over the nope. wall. Man on the line. Clears it. I don't know if the keeper would have saved that. Okay, this will be our very last attack to actually win it. Ball over the top there to Havertz. What a big chance. A new signing. Havertz to win it. Oh, I don't believe it. He's bottled it. Why's Pep got his shirt off? Oh, we've got the shirtless manager thing again. Ball whipped in. Torn it laid on. Martinelli. Now number five. Oh, what a save. And that is the game. It's a point versus City. We'll take that. We actually play pretty well. And it's official. Rob Lindegren is off to Atlanta. One year. Now, Odegaard comes to Arteta's office saying, Boss, I've seen on social media that Real Madrid might be interested in signing me back. I'm happy here at Arsenal, but that is very tempting. So to make sure I sign a new contract and stay here, I want to reach the quarterfinal this year in the Champions League. And Arteta replies, we'll do all we can to keep you here, Martin. If that means reach the quarterfinal, then that's what we're going to do. Unfortunately, I think it might be impossible for us to reach the quarterfinal off the Champions League. Because we're not actually in it. I forgot to put us in it. Are you having a laugh? We're back in this rubbish, the Europa League. I'm sorry, but no big club truly enjoys winning this competition. It's just like, yeah. 
yeah, let's just... That's it. Let's get that done. Get back in the Champions League. Let's hope Odegaard didn't actually notice that, you know? We're, we're now at Brentford, our second game. We'll, uh, we'll pretend it's the Champions League. Do we make any changes this game? That is the question. Could Trossard actually play at camp? N no, not really. Okay, Havertz will play that. As I said, I reckon this guy will do quite well this season. We now have Brentford. Whee. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not how you want to start. Ivan Tony can't even play. Look at this, man. Simple pass to him. Fantastic finish, by the way. First time. Oh, no. 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 What are we doing? No, you're having a laugh. It's going to brace. It's 2-0 like that. Oh, man. Brentford are good. You, you cannot be slacking against them. This is terrible. Right. Here's Saka. Come on. Slip that there. Gabriel Jesus. Nice bit of play. Now we've got Havertz. Yes, Havertz. Oh, we can't get there. Oh, we can slip that there and behind for Gabriel Jesus. Good chance. We want to get a few back for half time. Gabriel <laughs> Jesus. Oh, what was that? Okay, for this second half, I actually forgot to do any of the tactics in this Karimo so far. Get everybody in the box. You know how it works. 90 depth. We're going to win this. Saka. Back to white. Chip that up. Hit it on the volley, Zinchenko. Oh, cracking effort. Oh, Gabriel Jesus. Okay, spun his man. Still got it. Havertz looking for it. We go out wide. Now Zinchenko. Havertz. First nope. time. Easy save. I mean, that's about the closest we've come in this second half. We might actually get a free kick here. Oh, okay. Okay, we have some decent free kick takers. Odegaard. He's all right. We're going to get... To... Oh, no, I've got to mess it up. I've put so much power on that over the wall. Over the the bar. I bottled it. Tell you what, that free kick was their only hope, really, of getting that goal and then possibly getting a late equaliser. That's it. What a terrible, terrible result that is. I cannot believe that game just there. We, we need to find some tactics. I tell you that. 60 dead, 50 whip. That should do the job. Slow build up, possession. I think I think that is probably what we need to be doing. Corners, free kicks, just get three bars and that. But I am not a fan. I'm telling you, I've had bets at centre mid. I don't think this is work and we need to sign Ward Prowse. We need to sign Rice and Gundogan, Rice or Ward Prowse, or Rice and someone you put in the comments. So get your suggestions down below for episode two. You won't believe this, but we now have Manchester United. And as always, they've made a very strange signing. Diego Aspas up top for striker. I mean, for this one, we've got to do something to get Odegaard just to cam. I mean, does Vieira come into the side? Smith is a centre mid. He will play. No, no, no. It's Anthony early on. Oh, he's bottled that. <laughs> I mean, we're not starting these games very well, are we? We're 10 minutes in. I'm pretty sure in both games we're trailing by now. Okay, you guys are not ready for this. Check this out. We'd go chip it up. He's going to pass nope. shot it. Oh, what a save. Okay, we'll just go edge your box like this and just hit it like that. Pass <laughs> shot. Oh, we'll try that again. This is it. Takes it down. Martinelli. Oh, I thought that was in. No, no. Oh, what a save, Ramsdale. Oh, you're joking. You're joking. It's Diego Aspas as well. Can't United just sign a decent player in career mode for once? They're programmed to sign the worst players. Three seasons in, uh, they're like fifth in the league with the worst players ever. Look at that for a goal. Oh, Bellingham, top left. He's gone to Liverpool. Martin Odegaard slips that there to Jesus. There we go. Top right. 1-1. One, one. There's the equalizer. Second goal of the series. And it's number nine, Gabriel Jesus. So that is a fantastic finish. Assist Martin Odegaard at that cam position. We are level. Oh, no, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, skied it. Right, listen, 10 minutes to find that winner, and we're going to do it. Odegaard, go on, bend it from there. Martin Odegaard, easy save. Seven minutes now, six minutes now. Now five. We need this ball. We have one last counter-attack if we get it. Man United have the same idea. Good tackle. Here we come. Can we at least get a win in the first three games of the season? It's Saka. Tackled. Great. That is absolutely useless. Harry Kane. Is that Harry Kane? Don't tell me that's Jay. Jamie Vardy. That is Jamie Vardy. How bad are the signings? And the referee's going to blow it. I don't believe it. Why on earth in Corimo the United so bad? Right, it's deadline day. As I said, we have 106 million now. That is a lot of money. Get your suggestions down below. We'll sign Declan Rice next episode. Oh, we need to find a way to get this squad playing. We need to send them in. Gundogan, Ward Prowse, someone else. Get down below. If you guys have enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Turn the balance. Don't miss it. Episode 2 will be out tomorrow. When I say Barcelona, Corimo, 
to my second channel, then click here. Last episode, we started a new career mode with Arsenal and made our first signing, Kai Havertz from Chelsea for 43 million. This episode, we're going to be going in for Declan Rice as he wants to leave West Ham and Arsenal are very interested. IRL, apparently West Ham rejected a 90 million bid from Arsenal and now Man City are interested as well. Now, Mikel Arteta goes to Declan Rice's agent to try and agree personal terms with him and his agent says that Declan is currently on 60k a week at West Ham United and Manchester City have offered 200k a week with a 5 million signing on bonus. Mikel says we could offer 220k a week with a 5 million signing on bonus as well and his agent replies that is a good deal but 230k a week with a 5 million signing on bonus would make us choose you over Man City. Arteta replies saying that is a lot of money he would be our new top earner but Declan Rice is worth it we need him we'll accept that. Here's on our short list we were looking at him last episode he's 86 at 23 would cost between 60 and 77 million we'll go in now and try and agree a fee with west ham united for him if they've had a 90 million bid irl rejected 65 million would that get it done straight away david moy says yes i'm surprised but 65 is a whole lot less crucial first team player a five-year deal he says yes no release clause and of course the terms we agreed with him were 230k a week with a five million signing on bonus. Here he is holding up the shirt. It is official. He is now an Arsenal player. I tell you what, this will be a massive, massive signing for us. The question is, where do we play him in the side right now? His best position is CDM. That's where he played at West Ham. When he has had the freedom to go forward, he's been good. But in FIFA, he doesn't have the stats to really play a center mid. But Thomas Pardy actually has the stats to be able to play this center mid role. And of course, we do have Jorginho who is injured, has actually gone down a rating as well. And with that 50 to pace in FIFA. I don't really know if we can fully rely on this guy. We now have 26 million left. In the summer window, you guys know, we can only make three signings. We've already made two, so we've got one remaining. And we have James Ward-Prowse on here. We could afford him 14 to 17 million. It would be a very easy deal to get done as Southampton have been relegated. And also, Ikai Gandagan from Man City, being linked with Arsenal and Real, but looks like Barcelona the favourite. 17 to 21 million. 31, 85 overall. This guy is a very, very good player. And last episode, this guy pointed out signing Declan Rice and Gundogan would be deadly. Yeah, with Declan Rice at this number six position and with Gundogan at the number eight, that'd be a very good midfield. With Odegaard as the 10 going forward, that would be an amazing midfield. Of course, as I said last episode, we signed Havertz, but we're still trying to find his best position. To be fair, if we were going to play him, I'd probably play him more as a center forward, just behind the striker. As you guys can see with them stats, he's a good cam, but mainly a center forward. That's this is the deal we're doing the future but can solo linked with manchester city of course man city trying to sell him permanently you guys have commented him he's being linked with arsenal and would be a fantastic signing at right back 28 87 overall valued at 50 million and we have half that so we definitely can't buy him this window now i would like to know oh he's gone to barca but rafael guario why do barca always sign him he'd be a fantastic player left back but if you convert him to a son in mid he goes up from like 83 to 89 overall. This dude is saying you should try a 4-2-3-1 with two CDMs. To be fair, this is a pretty solid suggestion. Party left CDM, right CDM, Rice. Solid defensively, good going forward, but I kind of want to use the system Arteta uses. And I think Party is actually capable of playing this center mid role pretty well. I know he's just going for Barca, but I really want to put her offer in for Guerrero. We have 25 million. He probably would be worth that. We may be able to get him for that. Can we swap anyone for him? We don't don't really have a center back. We have Smith Rowe. I don't really see us using him, but we need him for the depth. We have Kieran Tierney. He's a backup left back and Guero can play left back. We'll convert it to a center mid, but he can play left back. So we'll offer Tierney and just submit it. Can we swap deal? 1.9 million. Uh, I mean, that's nothing. We'll just say yes. I feel like this is actually a really, really smart move. Important first team player. A three-year deal. We still have money left for January, so that is a dub. 150k a week. No, that's a release clause. What on earth am I doing? Okay, 150k a week and they say yes. Number two, we'll have to get that changed. That's a little bit of a strange number for a center mid, but he looks good in an Arsenal shirt. In fact, it looks a bit like Bruno Gamares. Now, the question is, how long will it take to move him to a center mid? 89 weeks. Oh, I'm not having that. I am not having that. Okay, once he plays games and his sharpness goes up, if that doesn't increase, then I'm just gonna have to use the mod to change him. But as you guys can see, at center mid, he gets a plus six. So 
if he got that with us converting him, he'd be 89 overall. This guy is saying sign Timber is strongly linked with Arsenal and has agreed personal terms. I don't know if we'd be able to afford this guy in January. Exciting prospect at Ajax. Can play right back as well. Would be a fantastic signing. Our current center backs, of course, Gabriel, Saliba and Holding. And also this guy in the reserve. So we could do with an extra center back to replace Holding and maybe fight for that first team role. Oh, look at this deadline day. Latest rumor, Saka to Man City and Man City come in with an offer. Um, let's negotiate. Let's play this game. They want to offer us Jack Grealish. Okay, you can't get out of having Jack Grealish that quick. Pep's got his shirt off. Pep's in town. Got his shirt off. Okay, 300 million and uh, nah, 310 million and you can have him. Uh, they don't straight up walk out. That's concerning. Okay, I'll be kind. We'll go down by 10 million to 300 million and see what you say to that. Oh, they say no. The deadline day is now finished. We've made three signings. Three pretty good signings. Got any suggestions? Get them in the comments. January will be here quickly. Oh, we do have a scout report back for Timber. 44 to 55 million. Yeah, we're gonna have to sell someone or raise some funds somehow to get this guy in January. We've played three games and we're currently 17th with two points. That's kind of concerning. 1-1 draw to Man City, 2-0 to Brentford and a 1-1 draw to Man United. We now have Newcastle away. They've had a decent start to the season and as you can see, they have a very good side, of course. Champions League club now. Jorginho, is he fit to make the bench? We'll just put him on there anyway. But this is the best side we can put out. Two debuts in this game. Declan Rice and Guerra. To be fair, we dropped eight points in the first three games, which is absolutely terrible. But if we expect to be in a title race, you'd probably say that's gone. So we need to make sure on this game we get nothing but a win. Oh, here's Alexander Isaac on the ball. Now some Maximin. Oh, the back hill. Nope. Isaac all over the bar. Keep it in, get a save to that, apparently. Amaron gets the corner in. Head of that one away. Is Bruno Gamares. Now some Maximin. Good save again. Now some Maximin. That could have been a handball. Apparently it is. We're going to have a VAR check here. Alan some Maximin. Good at FIFA. And yeah, not so much IRL. I think Newcastle probably need to have an upgrade. But he shoots and his hand is by his side in a natural position. You cannot be given that a pen. His Back around wide. He can slip that there to Jesus. What a big opportunity. Can he finish it? Oh, he's at the top of the bar. Oh, man. That was a massive opportunity. Oh, is Almiron out wide for Newcastle? Oh, we've failed to stop him. That's some good defense by Gabriel. He's Odegaard. That's another run, Jesus. He is on side. Oh, come on. He has to score this. I know his conversion rate isn't as good as you expect it to be, but he does score that one. Hopefully, this guy's going to have 20 plus goals this season. But get in the comments how many goals do you think Jesus? Zeus will score this season. If he's going to be making runs like this game, then I'm saying upwards off 25. That is a very good goal. Oh, that's an interception, Rice. On his debut, that's another run by Jesus. We play him the ball. Could be an assist for Rice. To be fair, could be a goal for Rice. Get that across. Declan Rice on his debut. He gets a goal. It's got the captain's armband. I mean, that needs to go back to Odegaard. But what a way to start off your debut. He wins it in defense. Drives it forward. And Jesus plays it back to him. And that is a tap in. That's a ball in behind that. Here's Trippier. Oh, that's a nice defense. We have defended very well in this game. This guy. Brown Jesus out wide there to Saka. This could be a third if we get it right. Saka. Nope. Oh, what a save. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this could be a goal. On his debut. Guero near post. Oh, he's messed it up. Oh, an Aguero moment. In an Aguero position. I was expecting a near post goal there. Oh, that's a mistake there. Guero, he could do it on his debut. Surely he doesn't bottle this one. Still got it. Pulls it. I mean, what on earth was that? He just got slower and slower and slower. Oh, he's injured. He is injured. I mean, he's not the quickest with 67 pace. But that is full time. Three points in the bag. Our first win of the season. Unfortunately, sent up the career mode. I made a mistake. I didn't put us in the Champions League. So we're in this dreadful competition. And I promise you guys, we're not playing a single game in the group stage. Absolutely not. We now have PSV. We can play this rotation side, which is pretty much fully rotated. We are at home. We're going to sim it. Here we go. It's a 1-1 draw. Is it still going to take like 80-something weeks? 
weeks to convert it to a center mid. Why? No, we're just going to speed that process up a little bit. It's now 89 overall. That's just us switching him to a center mid. That is absolutely incredible. Fact, that's unbelievable. This guy, we you could get this guy for like 23 million and it convert him and he's 89 overall. We now have Palace at home. This should be another three points. 4-1 win. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now the mighty Millwall in the Carabao Cup. A 2-1 win. And now we have evidence. They have one point. They must be rock bottom off the league. We're going to play it. We, we we can put like seven past them here. Can Party play center back? Or can Declan Rice play center back? He gets a, a plus one, so we can. I'm gonna do that because Gabriel is slightly tired. Ooh, I thought he maybe got the player there. Oh, what a what a pass that was. Oh, that was legendary. What a way to start off this game. Get that away. Oh, come on. Tacky start. Here comes Odegaard breaking away. That is a run, Jesus. I tell you what, he makes a lot of good runs, doesn't he? Here he is. Gabriel Jesus. Has he got the finish? Jesus. Yes, he has. I mean, that is quality. That really is. That's a fantastic striker. I don't know what was going on last episode. We're playing some different level of being bad, but that is great. 1-0. Oh, Martinelli. That's another run, Jesus. Please be onside. He takes it down. Finish it. Even if it's offside, it's onside. Gabriel. Jesus makes it 2 now. I want to see the lines being drawn up here. They're probably not going to do it. We're not going to get the angle, but that must have been so close. I was so convinced that was off. Now here comes Saka. That's another run over the top. We're going to pass on it. Takes a touch. Oh! What is going on? What a goal. There's no way. Take a look at this. He takes a touch. Wait for the, the decade-long replay now. The power shot on the half volley. Bottom left hand corner. Game over. To be fair, they've got one point. They're rock bottom of the league. I, I said we'd put seven past them. Honestly, mediocre club. They're going to play awful all season, then somehow escape relegation. Odegaard puts this one out wide there for Saka. Saka tries to beat his man. Comes back onto that left. Let's just wind it up from there. Why not? Oh, that was not far away. To be fair, Rice at centre back. I think we could have probably played Turner, the backup goalkeeper. Because they're going to do nothing. Oh, that's an overlap there. Guerrero. Surely the finish. Save. Full clearance, though. Go on. On the volley. Oh, just past the post. Oh, Rice. Fantastic tackle there. Now we break on the counter attack. Jesus, another run. Between the lines. Their defense is so bad. A four. Jesus. Oh, what a finish. 4 0. The four half time. Game was done and finished about an hour ago and it hadn't even kicked off. He's already got slips that in behind for Jesus. Come on keeper, come out. I want to lob him or just finish it. What was that? Oh no. Look at this. Nope. Look at this. Save near post. Keeping that clean sheet. Right, it's Kai Havertz and we could get an assist here. Four goals for Gabo Jesus maybe. Pass shot. Oh, he's missed it. What am I doing? Come on man, that has to be a goal. Oh, best goal of the game. It's the very last kick of the game. Thomas Pardy. Oh, Oh, that would have been nasty. Don't blow it there. That's why I do that again. But four goals, three points. That's another win. Ah, right, great. Back to this competition now. Should be a win here. One nil. Odegaard, just about. Okay, at least we're actually building form now in the league. Six games played, three wins, two draws, a loss. We're now eight. More of a tough opponent here. Aston Villa. And we get a 3-1 win. Saka, Martinelli, and Jesus. Now a 2-0 win to Bournemouth. And once again, completely rotating back to the Europa League. Has to be a big win here for now oh wow in nine appearances 10 goals one assist for Gabriel Jesus this guy's gonna have a fantastic season and three goals six assists for Odegaard is pretty good as well but we're like one win away from actually getting into the top four a 4-2 win versus Southampton that should do the job and it does we're now second in the league to top of the league Spurs how are they top there's no way I mean Liverpool are fifth and City in ninth oh career mode sometimes man but to be fair the Cabo Cup could be a competition that we actually win and get a trophy. So Watford, we get a 2 0 win. We get a 3 0 win versus Forrest, Saka, Martinelli, and Rice. We're simming so many games right now because no big teams coming up. But we do actually have Liverpool, I believe, in two games' time. A 3 0 win in the Europa League. We are smashing this competition. We're on a roll right now, scoring so many goals, and we get a 1 0 win. Not scoring many goals in that one. Guerrero with the goal. But we're currently level up points with Liverpool. United, one point behind behind us and we're two points behind top of the league Spurs and we now have Liverpool as I said and as you can see they have a very strong start they have Bellingham at left center mid I mean that's a massive signing not an easy place to come here Anfield so if we get a win here that would be absolutely amazing Martinelli he's got the pace dribbling here he is Elion 
dinks it in. I mean, that was to absolutely nobody. And Matip didn't know he was that athletic. That was amazing. Odegaard, nice pass there. Jesus out wide. Still got the ball. Still got the ball. Now Zinchenko. Pass. <laughs> Jesus. Guerrero, what a goal. 1 there last night. I didn't really know how to commentate that. I was shocked we kept the ball for so long. Fantastic bit of play. Good block, Van Dyke. But comes to Guerrero. Need to change that number. Number two just isn't it. That's a great rebound, is Guerrero. We're going to dink that over the top there for Jesus. Second goal would be massive. Gabriel Jesus from this angle. Nope. Just going to hit it. What a save. Tell you what, Guerrero is such a good center mid. You guys let me know. Does he play their IRL? Why is he permanently just not a center mid? Is Oda guard slips that in behind there for martinelli he's got the pace goes to jesus though jesus oh manages to get it out wide for saka onto that left foot goes to bend it keep the guts behind to it but it doesn't keep it out it's 2-0 arsenal saka with the goal amazing finish the assist was out of this world arteta's men leading 2-0 here come liverpool if they want to get it back in it they want to go now <laughs> yeah shot oh, what a save right here's a ball can he beat the defender oh it's trent of course he can. Odegaard. Oh, it could be 3 0. Do we sweat it? Do we finish it? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, he's bottled it. Are you joking? Oh, no. No. Oh, what a save. If they scored that, they could have got back in it there. They've got Allison in the box. It's only the 87th minute. Oh, we, we. Come on. We should surely get this goal now. Go on. Get it up, pitch. You better win this. You better win that. It's Fabinho challenging for it. And he wins it. Uh, you can't let the game get away with that. You really can't let the game get away with that. And that is full time. That is three points in the bag. Massive win at Anfield there, by the way. And after that, we actually go one point clear from Manchester United, top of the league. And Spurs, who are third. Okay, this top four is pretty close after 12 games. City are eight points away, but I do expect them to start winning. Both us and PSV are on 10 points here. So this is fighting for top of the group in the Europa League. And we get a 3-2 win, just about winning. One game left in the group. We are qualified and look looks like we will get top of the group but next up guys we have chelsea if you guys have enjoyed this episode leave a like subscribe if you're new turn the bell on so don't miss the next episode that will be out tomorrow if you guys want to see a barcelona career mode click here to see my second channel martin odegaard has been linked with rejoining real madrid and he is aware of this he said he would stay if we reached the champions league quarter final but as you guys know there's a slight problem setting up the career mode i didn't actually put us in the champions league so we're stuck in the europa league and as you can see we actually have qualified the group. So Arteta goes to speed to Odegaard saying, is there anything we can do to keep you here? How about a pay rise? Odegaard replies saying, a pay rise would work, but I wouldn't be put on the same amount that Declan Rice is on. Of course, last episode, we did sign Declan Rice. And as you can see, he's on 230k a week. He's 87 rated at 23. It was a very, very good signing. but very expensive. So Arteta replies saying, is that it? To keep you here, we need to give you a new contract and a pay rise. Odegaard says, yes, but to sign that brand new deal we need to be top two come january 1st now we're about at end of december and as you can see we're 12 games in and we're third in the league but we have a game in hand if we win we go top of the league but as you can see in the month of december we do have some challenging games coming up so it won't be easy to be top two and anyway our very next game is actually chelsea at home so this is not gonna be easy oh, that's a beautiful ball out wide there to martinelli that's a fantastic touch can he get it in the box nice pass oh what a block there Go Guerrero nearly making it one now. Oh, Martinelli. Oh, it's done so well. Can we get that to Odegaard? Yes, we can. What a big chance here. Through a goal. Surely the goal. Odegaard always bottled it. How on earth did we not score that? Here comes Martinelli. Slips that in behind that for Jesus. It's a big chance. Through a goal again. Surely this time. What was that? What on earth are we doing? That should be a goal as well. Odegaard slips that there to Jesus. What a tackle, Koulibaly. I'm telling you, we've got winners mentality this season we get this win five minutes remaining we will win this game we will get three points and go top of the league jesus now rice nice passing back to jesus look at this passing oh we pass it straight to them oh interception yes jesus oh the god no what are we doing there man that could have been it oh the terrible passing at the end that's a disappointing result we've defended very well this season again another clean sheet jesus with a goal and saka so after 14 we are currently second in the league to first spurs don't ask me how we now have walk for hampton at home and it's a 4-1 win i mean we are thrashing teams the next episode 
the January window will be open. Of course, we have 20 million to spend. You guys were saying we could go in for a center there. We have Gabriel and Saliba, of course, and Holding. And then this dude is 72 overall. And the suggestion was a player linked IRL, which is Timber from Ajax. 21, 80 overall center back can play right back 44 to 55 million. So expensive, we would have to raise funds, maybe even do a swap deal. We can actually just wrap up the group stage, fully rotated squad, at least nearly fully rotated. It's a 1-1 draw. I'm pretty sure we went the whole group stage without losing. To be fair, guys, just realize we can afford to go for a Gundogan, 14 to 17 million, and also award Prowse 10 to 13 million. Now, he'd be great. I love taking free kicks. I'm okay at them. Not amazing, but there's nothing better than scoring one. This guy would be amazing to bring off the bench. But I think we may have to do it before January 1st, else there'd be a pre-contract signing. But what a game we have here. The North London Derby. Spurs still have a very strong side. They've got Kane up top, Son and Kulisevsky. This is not going to be an easy game at all. I don't think we make any changes. Gabriel slightly tired, but we don't have anyone to bring in. That's a nice tackle, Gabriel. As I keep reminding you guys, we have such a good defense. Here's Jesus out wide there to Martinelli. He's got the pace. He's got the dribbling ability. Do we win a throw in there? We do. We're going to absolutely thrash Spurs here. Oh, look at that by Odegaard there. Ooh, don't be a red. Don't be a red card. No. No, 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 no. Okay, it's a yellow. It's a yellow. I was a little bit worried there. Oh, here's Kane. It's Kane. Kulisevsky. Oh, no, it's 1-0 Spurs. Oh, I don't believe it. This isn't the script. Absolutely dreadful, that is. What on earth are we doing? Oh, tackle. Tackles Zinchenko. Beautiful. Now it's coming forward. He can slip that there to Jesus. It's Gabriel Jesus. Tight angle. Goes nope. to hit it. What a save. Man, our finishing in this episode just has not been it. I tell you that. We're going to go at your box here. That is just not what I wanted to do. I did not put it in the air. I put it on the ground. Is Jesus. Oh, that's a foul. That's a foul. That's definitely a yellow card. Oh, that's a nice tackle. Guerra slips that there to Saka. Pulls that onto his left foot. Nice bit of play there, Saka. Now Zinchenko. Got a left foot. Goes to hit it. Possible handball. We'll be going to VAR. Just before half time. Please be a penalty. He got the ball. Went to hit it. It goes at Bissouma. His hand comes across. That seems fairly natural. It's not by his side. It hits it. Do you know what? The Premier League would probably give that but english referees you know if you're english you cannot be a referee so therefore we can't give that so we have one massive second half ahead of us here we play attractive football jesus still got the ball gonna release it from there jesus oh we hit that well didn't get enough behind that nice header saka jesus odegaard run over the top takes it down pulls it back <laughs> odegaard on the block here comes saka slips at him behind there for jesus oh the defender got back though Take what 15 minutes to play Spurs are playing well gotta give it to them we have not done anything in this game Martinelli now the box well nope. oh, oh, what a save oh no here comes Son Kane's off the pitch now he goes to hit it good save come on get everyone in the box get this corner up the pitch and let's get that equalizer they've gone short and they're gonna keep the ball look at that look at that and they blow the whistle the computer the AI in this game is so clever right now Spurs are top of the league two points it's clear from us. What on earth are they doing? They're setting themselves up for disappointment, aren't they? They're, they're going to go all the way and then bottle it back. Seems to be a North London trait, to be fair. Might get in trouble for that one, to be fair. And we get a 1-1 one, one draw to Leicester. You haven't laughed. Now Chelsea are top of the league. Oh, so London are setting themselves up for disappointment. Bottle jobs. There we go. We get a 3-0 win versus Leeds. But Gabriel picking up a knock. That better not be for long. No, it's for four weeks. So he's out for a month. That is a big loss. In a very busy part of the season as well. So rotation will be key. And we can't do much of it. So Holding comes into the start of 11. And this guy, have you say his name, is on the bench. He, he looks amazing. Let's be honest. We have a Cabo Cup quarterfinal here. Versus Sheffield United. He scores! Oh, he's proved me wrong. My bad is very good. Right. He, um, he better be good because he's going to be playing quite a lot. Saliba's out for two months now. What on earth is the game doing? So our centre-backs 
route. To be fair, to be fair, we can play Declan Rice there and we'll bring in Pardy. And it's fine. He gets a plus two. We are fine. But I'm not very confident about this defense. But everyone else seems to have bottled it. City are now only one point behind us. They have not lost a game in like two months. Okay, they are steamrolling. They're, they're probably, they've probably already won the league, let's be honest. But we now have Brighton at home and I'm expecting goals in this one. In fact, I don't think we've even scored a goal in this episode yet. So I'm hoping for a big performance here. Jesus on the ball. Odegaard making a run. We'll go out wide there to Saka. He's going to go to the byline. Now put it back in the box. Odegaard. Ooh, we win a corner. Tell you what, if we wanted to play our highest rated starting 11, it would make sense to play Declan Rice at centre back. He's going to dink that over the top there to Jesus. Jesus now to Odegaard. No, that was A. I'm pressing A. No, that counter attack should have been a goal. Right, Saka. Corner. Edge of box there. Oh, beautiful. Martinelli goes to hit one. What a save. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What on earth are we doing? It's a seagull. It's a bird. We're losing to a bird. They've slapped a bird on the badge and we're losing to them. I don't believe it. Oh, that's a nice interception party. Come on, man. Second half. I want us to actually play the game of football. I don't know what we're trying to play. Badminton. Or... Oh, it's offside. It, you know, play by the rules. No, 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 no. That's an awkward save. Trust hard for Saka. Not a chance. All right, they've got that corner in the box. Nice header away there, party. He absolutely owned that. Rice. No! He bottled that big time. Trust right on for Martinelli. Might as well. Former Brighton player. Ridden in the stars. Here comes Saka. Counter-attack. Now Jesus. Beautiful. Jesus for the equalizer. That's it. Boom, boom, boom. Get in. Get for Jesus with the goal. Equalizer in the bag. Assist Saka. Let's move now. Let's go get that winner. Is Saka on the ball? Oh, he sat him down. Odegaard chips it up. For Jesus. Takes it down. Get in. Come on! Oh, look at that top left. 17 goals in 19. Now 18 and 19. Just like that, spinning the game on its head. You think it's a circus. Check that out. The touch, the finish. Beautiful. Magnifique. Bonjour. Here's Matoma. Okay, make sure you win. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No funny business here, lads. Ah. Oh, okay, right. You just can't go losing this. We're going to bring this guy on because he's a very good center back. Probably didn't see that because my camera's in the way. But we're bringing on the 72 rated center back. Look at him. He is wonderful. What a player. What are you doing? I had to run there, Odegaard. Can we get him the ball? Yes, we can. Martin Odegaard, sign that new deal. He's bottled it. He has bottled it. He's Trussard. Bend it from there. He has uh, he's lost the ball. Come on, ref. Blow the whistle. You know you want to. Interception. Good stuff. Trussard, here he comes. Versus his former club. It's written in the start. It's going to score. Trussard, there we go. He wins it for Arsenal. It's in the bag. Trussard wins it at the end. It's almost like a, uh, a Mope moment. That's kind of the other way around, though, isn't it? That's a very, very tidy finish. Confident finish. And that's it. We beat the bird on the badge 3-1. Now we have Leeds United at home. It's a 2-0 win. Tommy Asu Zinchenko, Thomas Party, please, please don't be out for long. Okay. He's, he's not even injured. So that was a slight knock. Guys, we have very much so entered the stage now of if you lose, City win. They're one point behind us, and they're just going to keep winning 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 so we need to keep this up every game now is us trying to win to be in this title race and our very next game is leicester city one day before the january window and we can't go forward a single day else these signings that i possibly could go in for if you guys say do it um we kind of need to do it now as there'll be a pre-contract but we also need to make sure we get enough points in the next game to be top two come january 1st to sign this new deal with martin odegaard currently on 100k a week. He will be on 230k a week once that new deal is signed. We need to keep this guy. Gay suggestions down below, guys. We have 20 million. Not much to spend. The main position we probably need is a center back. So get down below. Next episode will be out tomorrow. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Turn the bands so don't miss that video. When is it Barcelona career mode? Click here to see my second channel. Martin Odegaard wants to go back to Real Madrid, but we convinced him to stay with a pay rise and a new contract. But he said he'd only accept it if we're top two in the Premier 
Premier League come January 1st. And as you can see, 20 games in, we are first in the league, but only two points separate us from fourth place. And Leicester City is our very next game for the window open. So we need to win this game and make sure we're top two to sign that deal. And then obviously the window is open. We have 20 million to spend and we got some big injuries last episode. Both Saliba and Gabriel are out injured. One was one month, the other was two months. So they won't be out for too long. But right now we're having to play right at right center back and hold it. And this is the center back we have on the bench. This guy's saying that you can actually play Tommy Asu at center back and he gets a plus three and at right back, he only gets a plus two. And to be fair, what we could do is actually play White at center back and Tommy Asu at right back because he has more pace. Of course, Timber is linked with Arsenal IRL. You guys really want me to sign him. 44 to 55 million, 21, 80 overall. Center back, can play right back, 21, he's young. Good potential would be an amazing signing. And as I said, we only have 20 million to spend. We can't really do that deal. James Wood Prowse, 28, 81 overall. We could get him between 10 and 13 million because his contract is spiring. Same with Gundogan, 85 overall, 14 to 18 million. So if we want to side more Prowse for Gundogan, we have to do it now before the January window opens, else it'll be a free contract. But guys, you need to see this. Shao Cancelo is on the loan list. Manchester City want to loan him out again. He's 28, 87 overall. You guys know how good this guy is. He had some falling out with Pep. There's some sort of beef there. I don't really know what happened. But if we had him at right back, Tommy Asu could play center back. Same as White. In fact, it would probably make sense at some point to convert White back to a center back and he'd go up in overall. Okay, so a loan deal with Jao Cancelo. A two-year deal. I mean, come on, please. A short term? Are you kidding me? What about a one year? A short term. Okay, they know what they're doing. That is clever. He's got his shirt off, by the way. And oh, wow, that is a lot of money. 112k a week. I mean, we'll just accept that. Why not? So we now need to wait to see if Cancelo will accept that. If he does, we will have a new right back. You guys know the transfer rules. We can make three signings in the summer and one in January. But does a loan deal really count as a signing? Cancelo will only be for us for half a season. So therefore, I think we should be allowed to go for Ward Prowse or Gundogan. This play would be for the bench. And as I said before, Ward Prowse would be an amazing player to bring on if we get a free kick. This guy will not miss. We're doing this one for Edgar. 9 million. Oh, to be fair, Jorginho. Do we just swap him? I wouldn't mind swapping him, but I can't actually put him back into the deal. His option is gone. Can we get this done for 9.5 million? Let's, let's see if they'll accept that. 10.2. Okay, will you guys accept 9.8 million? They say yes to that. That is a bargain. So now them two deals are done, we have one game. That that is in between now and January 1st. As soon as we play this, both signings will be here. Oh, but look at this. We're going to have to really rotate in this game. And we need to win it, by the way, to sign that new contract. This is the best rotated side we can put out. Still a few tired players like Saka and Zinchenko, but we have this. Is Saka on the ball? Oh, that's a run trussard. Can it? Okay. No, Saka go all the way. I don't know what number 27 is doing, but that is 1-0 Arsenal. Is that Jewsbury Hall number 27? I don't know who it was, but that's dreadful defense. Is Havertz on the ball. Big ball out wide there to Martinelli. Nice first touch. Really good first touch. Fayez, he's not going to catch him. Martinelli, nope. what a save. Oh, look at this, James Madison. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what a block. Well, look at this amount of space Martinelli has here. If we chip this up and then just hit a power shot. Look at that. Oh, that's 90 minutes. Game over. We get the three points. Let's sign that new deal. The agreement was we match Declan Rice's wage, which is 230k a week, which is a lot. He's currently on 100. 24, 8. 86 overall. By the way, in like FIFA 15, 16, and 17, this guy had like more potential than anyone. He was the Real Madrid wonder kid. That flopped. He lost all his potential, but then went to Arsenal and became really good. 230k a week. Yeah, it's a good job we didn't spend all that transfer budget as we wouldn't afford to be able to do this deal. So James Ward-Prowse is now here. There he is on the bench. I think we'll just keep Jorginho. We don't need the money. We don't need to sell him. It's good rotation, especially with the injuries we've got. You never know who needs to play. Oh, but this is what I've been waiting Waiting for Jao Cancelo has said yes. That is a, a weird pair of shoes to wear with a suit. There he is with Declan Rice Aguero. Three new signings. Number three, Jao Cancelo. What a signing this is. Exciting stuff. So right now, this is the best side we can put out. Rice at left centre back, White and Cancelo. What a defence. I mean, this guy could even play at right mid. I mean, it's just a very good play. Even left back. Oh, we have Spurs in the Cabo Cup semi-final. Chance to win a trophy, by the way. That's been 
our strongest side. I want to win this trophy. First leg, and it's a 3 1 win. Martinelli, Saka, and Saka. We should be in a final. Oh, we got a 5 0 win in the FA Cup first round. This is Arsenal's competition, to be fair. We've agreed a deal for Vieira to go out on loan to Udinese for two years. He's not really playing. Right, Gabriel is back from injury, so we're playing White and Gabriel at the back, and Declan Rice and CDM. That is his best position. It's what we signed him to play. A big game here against Everton, and it's a 1 0 win. Gabriel Jesus in the final moments of the game watches it up. Now a 2 1 win versus Palace. We're keeping these games close. Oh, but look at this. After 23 games, 55 points with three points clear for Man City. And Liverpool second place, two points behind us. I mean, after 10 games at the start of the season, both sides were doing terribly. We're back to the FA Cup now, and it's a 3 0 win versus Cardiff. Chance to get to a Carabao Cup final. We'll be playing Leeds United or Huddersfield. Not a Man City, not a Liverpool. We have to be winning this. Get this second leg over the line. It's a 1 1 draw. Martinelli with the goal. We're at a final. And the final is against Leeds United. We're currently 13th in the Premier League. So they're having a somewhat average year. But at home here versus Brentford, it's a 0 0 draw. We cannot be dropping points like that. We're now leveling points with Liverpool and Man City are just one point behind us. And just like that, we now have our biggest game of the season Manchester City at the Emirates. We want to remain top. We have to get something from this game. And if we lose, you could say the title race is gone. And don't forget, guys, we actually have Cancelo playing as well. Imagine if he would score in this game. We get a penalty. I'm putting him on it. Oh, no. Haaland in the box. Across the box. Coming in. Oh, no. That's not the start we wanted. Is that Phil Foden? What a terrible start that is. Haaland with the assist. That's a fantastic ball. But track your runners, man. It's Phil Foden again on the right. Cancelo with the tackle. Now here's Foden again. Haaland in the box. What a save. That's a nice tackle. Come on, let's break. No foul. Saka coming forward. Jesus is going to slip that in behind. Big chance against his former club here. John Stones is slowed down as he got the finish. Nope. Oh, what a save. I swear every time we throw a goal like that, we just never score. Oh, no. No, 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 nope. no. Oh, what a save. Keeping us in it there. That is absolutely massive. Cancelo with a tackle as well. We get a handball. We, we can get back in this. Here comes Martinelli on the left-hand side. Gets it onto that right foot. Still Martinelli. Tackle just before halftime. Nothing happening. City are playing well. Oh, Jesus. Nice control there. Now Odegaard. Nice ball out wide there. Guerra. Now Saka. Can we find Odegaard? Here he is. Nice touch. Back out wide to Saka. Now Guerra in a nice position. Nice touch. The finish. What a save. Oh, nice passing playing out the back here. Beautiful stuff there. You can tell Arteta's got Barcelona in him. Now here's Guerrero. He could go the way. Still Guerrero. Still got the ball. Gets it out wide there to Saka. Oh, the tackle. Oh, no. Here's Erling Haaland. Still Haaland. Oh, what a save. We've got around 10 minutes to find this goal. Guerrero on the ball. Martinelli making the run. We're going to play it to him. Through the gap. What a tackle. Jesus now. Again, the interception. Man City, man. You can see why they went three in a row and won the treble. If we want to get anything from it, we're going to have to do it now. Saka, moments left of this game. Come on, attack. Oh, that's a ball over the top there to Odegaard. Can he get there? The header, the defense. They pass us the ball, though. It's still not over. Here's Saka. Jesus, he can slip that to Odegaard. I tell you what, our passing and final decision making when attacking is awful. So after that, we're now third place. We're four points away from fifth. And we're three points away from top of the league, Liverpool. We need a comeback here. We get a 2-0 win back. This is Nottingham Forest. Odegaard with a red card, but three points in the bag. But now we have a cup final, and Odegaard is suspended. This is not what we wanted. Havertz is going to have to come in and play. Oh, Saliba's back from injury as well. That is good news. He can slip in there for White. That he's got no sharpness, so we won't do that yet. So this is our lineup for the final. I don't know if this is a glitch, but the stadium seems like there's no light. It's a ball over the top there. Oh, no, 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 no. Slide in. Well, in. Yeah, the Leeds fans will be going mad about that. They're going mad about anything, to be fair. Oh, there's a lot of room here. Jesus on the ball. Oh, that's a foul. This, I, I feel there's going to be a lot of fouls in this game. I'm feeling very confident about this one. Well, if we lose it, that's embarrassing. Humiliating. Rice playing it out the back. Good stuff. Now it's Martinelli. Jesus in behind. Here he is. Saka's making the run. Can we get the ball to him? We do. We don't. Here's Kai Havertz on the ball. Oh, he's got so much space. Come on, don't bother this. 
Come on, Kai. You can score it. You love a goal in a cup final. Kai have that. Oh, no. Go on. Get it back in. Jesus, the block. The conversion rate of Jesus and Kai have that tie route is very low. And it's even shown it in this series. That's Inchenko. Nice counterattack there. Oh, beautiful switch of play. Got to put that over the top there for Jesus. Can he hit it first time? That would be awkward. That's a nice header. Kai Havertz. I mean, he is good at doing stuff like that. I tell you that. Here's Jesus. Out wide there for Martinelli in the box. That's Saka. Nice search on the volley. What a save. He reached for it. We're going to get this ball out wide there to Martinelli. We've got options in the box. Still Martinelli. Dribbles past him. Go make the pass. Okay, we win a corner. We really are not creating any decent opportunities. I'm already in the second half. It's number two. Now Martinelli. Big chance. Bend it from there. Martinelli. Nope. What a save. See, more stuff like that. We are challenging the key though it's made two or three really good saves is number six oh that's a tackle oh no no oh no 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 what are we doing oh this is embarrassing if we lose this cup final i tell you what on this channel in Carbo cup finals i suck I swear we've lost many before and fa cups english cups it's the english referees i'm telling you they just they just give me bad vibes oh thank you very much we can have that come on pass it out the back my excuse for the press conference if we lose is is I couldn't see the ball. It was too dark. Is Martinelli. Okay, nice bit of passing. Options here. We get the ball in the box. Saka, go on, keep it in. Go on, Jesus, win that header. Oh, that could have been a pen. Get this one in the box, Saka. Get your big head on that, someone. Rice wins the header. Guerra, get a hit it on his right Ooh. foot. Oh, just go in, please. No, 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 no. There's no way. There's no way we've got five minutes left. Right side, Ward Prowse. They're getting on the pitch here. We need to just do constant pressure. 100 depth. We're going to forward runs, fast build up, get everybody in the box. Por favor. And it's their throwing. I don't believe it. It's their throwing. Okay, that's a tackle. That is a tackle. Zinchenko slips out there to Ward Prowse. Jesus making the run. We play the ball. Gabriel Jesus, don't miss it. Oh, it's so bad. He's so bad. He's just dreadful. He's so bad. Oh, his conversion rate. It's just like IRL. No. There's no way that's just happened. Oh, man. Come on. Ah, oh, every bottle in the world is manufactured in London. This is embarrassing. This is humiliating. There we go. Cooper, he's won the lottery. There he is with his armband. He's gonna lift this trophy. The only thing he'll ever lift. There we go. Maybe the championship, to be fair. Oh, there we go. Up the leads. Well, at least we have the FA Cup left. Come on. 2-0 win. The right, race continues, though. And we now have Tottenham. Great. This is the, not the side we want to be playing right now. Oh, it's a good opportunity. In behind. Saka. He's not going to bottle this. Boom. There we go. One now. He scores in the bottle job derby. Sorry, but the only club to win a, a Champions League trophy in London. They were founded in 2004. I, I wouldn't be having that personally. <laughs> look at that. What a save. No rebound. Yeah, good stuff. Ooh, look at this. We have a pen hit. Saka is going to smash this top right hand corner. Keeper's not going to even dive. There we go. Beautiful. Two now. Give us the three points. It's going to be a clean sheet or not. Final opportunity of the game. Son. Oh, that's a back hill. Or oh, it might not be. Oh, no. Dan Juma. Good save. And that is full time. That is a very, very good win. Europa League round of 16. We have Freiburg. Do we make any changes here? I mean, we have to. Come on. We have too many good players. You could say we're going to fry them. Oh, we do. 4-1 win. Get in. Now we have an FA Cup quarterfinal versus Southampton. I did make sure that Ward Prowse played. Please score. Please score. Okay. Maybe you got an assist. We've rotated in this one. Second leg, Freiburg. It's a 1-1 one -one draw. It was a very rotated side, to be fair. Man City have played three more games than us. If we win all three of them, we will be level on points with them. But if Liverpool win both games, they will definitely be top of the league. They're playing really well right now. And that is our very next game. That is not going to be easy. This is a massive game in the title race. And of course, they have Bellingham in the midfield. This will be next episode, guys. If you enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on if you're new. Coming toward the end of season one now. Season two will be coming around quick. Turn the button so don't miss it. Want to see a Barcelona crew mode? Click it. See my second channel. Right now, this title race is intense. City right now have played more games, but if Liverpool and Arsenal win all the games in hand, Liverpool will go top and we will go level on points with City in second spot. Oh, and last episode, we bottled the Carver Cup final to Leeds United 1-0. And we learned going into next season, we need a proper striker. Gabriel Jesus, his finishing is just not it. And then we bring Havertz on the pitch and then he does the exact same thing. I don't know if we'll sell him, but get your suggestions down below. Guys, look who we 
have right now. We have Liverpool at home. This could change the title race. As I said, if we all win our games in hand, they will go top. If we take three points away from them, then we could. Trossard's injured right now, so we can't play him. I would try him over Jesus and see if he does any better. But for now, we're just going to have to stick with Gabriel. There's an early opportunity coming forward. That is a run out wide for Jesus. That's a nice touch. Support by Martinelli. Back to Gabriel Jesus. Nice touch. The turn. Gabriel Jesus with the shot. What a block. Van Dijk. Oh, here's another big opportunity. Jesus on the ball. Slips that out wide there for Saka. Big chance. Pull that back to Gabriel. Good defense. Oh, here's a massive chance for Jesus. Surely he doesn't miss this. Here he is. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. It's 1-0 last night. At least he scores that opportunity. He's not completely awful. Oh, look at this. Another chance. Through and goal. Martinelli could finish the game. Off that he does. 2-0 Arsenal. There'll be three points in the bag. Title race is getting even more tense. Southampton now. These lot are probably rock bottom of the league. Yeah, probably are. 3-0 win. Now Fulham away. And it's a 2-1 win. So just about winning that one. Odegaard and Gabriel Jesus. By the way, in 38 games, he has 23 goals. So he is our top goal scorer. 17 goals, 10 assists for Saka. They're amazing numbers. City is still top of the league. They've played an extra game than Liverpool and us. If Liverpool and us both win, then we're all on 74 points. We now have Union Berlin in the quarterfinal of the Europa League. We have slightly rotated. And we get a 4-0 win. Oh, wow. Martinelli with a brace. Martinelli with a hat trick. Man, City keep winning. We cannot be dropping any points. So we get a 1-0 win. Just about doing it again. But check this out. Liverpool have lost. They're now three points behind us. And City are three points ahead of us. But we have a game in hand. And with goal difference, if we score enough, we could go top of the league. But right now, we have that second leg. We can fully rotate in this one. There's, there's no chance we're going to lose. And we get a 1-0 win. Imagine if we lost 5-0. The Chelsea is now the opponent at Stamford Bridge. And we have a penalty here. Oh, wow. This is big. Come on. Sack it. That should be top left-hand corner. We'll grid it out. There we go. What a penalty from Saka. 1-0 Arsenal. Now Ziyech puts a corner in for Chelsea. That's a nice one. Keepers on it, though. Seven minutes to play. All we need to do is defend this counter-attack. Make sure they don't score. That is a dreadful ball. And that's it. Job done. Three points in the bag. Another 1-0 win. Wait a minute. When on earth did this happen? We have a nine-month injury for Thomas Pardy. That is dreadful. That is absolutely dreadful. We're just going to sell this guy. I mean, right now, we could get 20 million for him, but he needs to go. Nine months. He won't be playing again. Keep the pressure on City. We need to win this game. If 3-1 win versus Wolves. And just like that, we've all played 33 games, and we are level on 80 points with Manchester City. We have an FA Cup final now versus Wolverhampton. And we rotate here. Trussard up top. Let, let's try him here. I'm a excited or intrigued to see how he do compared to Jesus. He has the same finishing. They seem to like to dim the lights at Wembley at the moment. I don't know what's going on. Nope. That's ahead of there. What a save. All right, he's Ward-Prowse on the ball. Now Odegaard. Nice pass, Trussard. Now Ward-Prowse out wide there to Saka. Back in the box. Trussard spins, Ooh. shoots. What a save. Now, no one has won this competition as much as Arsenal. They've won it how many times? 14? Ah, uh, we have a penalty here. There's no chance we miss it. I've been playing so much my player offline that I've learned how to smash it top corner every time. That's a beautiful pen. One now. Here's Trussard on the ball. A second goal could finish it off over the top there for Ward Prowse. Takes it down. The finish. 2 now. James Ward Prowse makes it 2 0 Arsenal. That should be us in the final. And it is us in the final. But the question is, who are we playing? Oh, wow. Check this out. We've played Chelsea in the FA Cup final. That's not going to be an easy game. We get a 3 0 win to Fenerbahce in the Europa League semi final. So we're probably now in Europa. Europa League final, to be fair. And we could be playing Man United or Inner Milan. So that's really not going to be that straightforward, is it? City just don't stop winning. We have Villa here. It's a 2-0 win. Jorginho with a red card, though. By the way, Gabriel Jesus is the top goal scorer in the Premier League right now. In 34 games, 24 goals. We have the second leg here. I should have fully rotated. We're definitely in a final. A 2-0 win. Jesus scores again and Odegaard. But that is us in the final. And we're playing Manchester United. Oh, wow. Chance to win a European trophy. Keep the pressure on City. Keep winning. A 3-1 win versus Brighton. Not an easy game there. There's no way. They drop points. They're one point above us. If we win, we go two points above them. Liverpool right.
right now are five points below us. So they're kind of out this title race. And we win one now versus Bournemouth. Jorginho picks up a note, but Trossard in the sixth minute. So as you can see, with two games remaining in the Premier League, we are two points clear off City. If we bottle this now, then I'm going to cry. But we have to pause the title race right now because we have this opportunity to win the FA Cup. And this is how both sides got here, by the way. Oh, we could have played Spurs, but Chelsea won on penalties. That's a nice tackle there. Odegaard. Here comes Odegaard. Spinning. Gets that out wide there for Saka. Saka now for Jesus. Big chance early on. Jesus! 1-0 Arsenal! What a fantastic goal that is. I don't know. Perhaps this guy can, you know, get better at finishing. I think it's the big clutch moments. Uh, and especially with his weak foot. That it just really isn't it. But I mean, he's capable of doing that. We're winning. Oh, here's a Nazari for Chelsea. What a block. Oh, still in the box though. Here's the uh, Gets it in. Oh, I don't believe it. Mason Mount with the equalizer. What a terrible goal to concede. Look at this. Ziyech finds the ball and boom. That's the goal. Oh, look at that from Martinelli. Oh, that is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Still got the ball. Could go all the way. What are they doing? What on earth are they doing? Martinelli to chip the keep. Okay, what on earth am I doing there? I have just killed an amazing clip. Clip would have been even better if I actually chipped the keeper. Go down. Come on, man. 20 minutes, guys, and we've won it. No, 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 no. What a save. Wait a minute. How was it? I didn't know it was 1-1. I thought we were winning. Oh, I completely forgot about that goal from Mount. I've been playing this whole game since then. Like, we're winning. Oh, come on. Extra time. Extra time. Don't blow it. Ref. Oh, he's blown it. Come on, man. So extra time it is now. Ooh, handball. Advantage played, though. That works in our favor. No, it doesn't. Oh, what a goal, Kovacic. Chelsea strike for the second time. What do you mean Frank Lampard's there? It's the James Bond 007 himself. Thinks he can just roll up and win this cup final before they hire another manager. Get out. Look at this. Kovacic. Dreadful. What are we doing? The club found it in 2004. Strikes again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, just get out. Get out. They've won it. I don't believe it. It's a Bamiyan. Can it be bothered to play this game? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, that's a goal back, surely. Jesus, there we go. Come on. Come on, that's a goal back. Is it possible? Got about 10 minutes to play. Come on, attack. Yes, Gabriel, make make the run. Jesus, here he is. Here he is, onto that right foot. Nice stuff. Odegaard, over the top. Oh, the goal! Oh, no, it's the bottle job. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. How on earth are you missing that? I, I, I want to sell him. I want to sell him. I want him gone. And Gap here on Jesus. Absolute bottle jobs, man. That's a tackle. That is a tackle. Come on. Come on now, someone. Yeah, get that in the box. Oh, keepers on it. I, we could have won that there. We could at least go to penalties. Wait a minute. City have played Liverpool and they drew. They could finish your 91 points. If we win this next game, we get 92. We could win the league in this very next game. And it happens to be Newcastle. Oh, wow. You're gonna have to make a couple of changes though. Ward Prowse comes in. Saliba at the back. Come on. His eyes are out wide there. So Maximin. Back hill. Oh, look at this play. Look at that play. Declan Rice, edge of box. Good touch. The finish. What was that? Here comes some Maximin out wide. A long shot from him. Oh, what was that? What on earth was that? Oh, get out. Oh, no. That is horrible. What's he doing? Ball out wide there to Saka. Oh, man. We're not playing well at all. Martinelli slips that there for, Sack, uh, for, for Jesus. Chance to equalize. Jesus. There we go. 1-1. One, one. Let's go. All we need is three points and the title is ours. Oh, no. No. What is happening? This is dreadful. This is so bad right now. Alvarod, where, where have you been since the World Cup? Pre-World Cup merchant. And that's it. That is full time. We lose to Newcastle. Title comes down to the final game of the season. 37 played, 89 points, 88 for City. A point isn't good enough. We need to win. And that is Manchester United at Old Trafford. They've got Harry Kane up top. Oh, the exact player they need as well. This is not going to be easy. They've got fourth spot. Question is, though, do you want us to win the league or City? Overlap there by Luke Shaw. Pulls it back. Rashford, Bruno. Come on, get a tackle in. What a save. Here's Harry Kane for United. He's held it up well. Oh, that's a beautiful ball there to Rashford in the box. I tell you what, United are attacking well. What we need to do is just defend well, snatch a goal laid on. Just 1 0. It would get the job done, please. I don't want to be the biggest bottle job of all time. Bruno Fernandes, what a block. Oh, there's no way. There is no way. There is no way. Harry Kane. Harry Bain. Is he going to miss it? Oh, no. 
no. It's 1-0, Man United. It's Harry Kane of all people. Here's Marcus Rashford on the ball. We need two goals. We're 70 minutes in. We've got 20 minutes to play. We need two goals. Martinelli on the ball. Jesus there. Still Martinelli. Go on, keep it. Yes, yes, no. Oh, please. Jesus, ball over the top. Gabo Jesus. Nope. Oh, the save to here. Oh, no. I don't believe it. We've bottled it. We've gone and bottled it like that. I, I can't believe we just did that. That that I cannot believe. I can't figure out how on earth we just bottled that that bad. City win the league. We're still yet to win a trophy this season, by the way. And we've got to face this lot again in the Europa League final. Oh, man. This, this is just not very good. Got to play Tomiyasu at left back because Zinchenko is suspended with a red card. Going out basically the same side. Can we beat United here and win that trophy? Tell you what, United are playing with a lot more confidence in both games than us. If we manage to lose this, then we have had a terrible season. And it will be humiliating. This squad will lose a lot of confidence. Here comes Saka on the right-hand side. Jesus getting into a spot onto that left foot. Saka winded up from there. <laughs> Oh, man, that would have been absolutely world class. Rice out wide there to Martinelli. Couple of step overs. Still Martinelli. Still Martinelli. Hit it from there, Martinelli. What a save to here. Now here's Tommy Asu. Nope. Another save. Here is Martin Odegaard. Still got it out wide there for Martinelli. Hit it from this angle. What was that? We need to do a whole lot better than that. That's a nice tackle. Brilliant tackle, Gabriel. Charging forward. Beautiful stuff. Now we've got Tommy Asu. Jesus drift back post. Tommy Asu. Can he go all the way, Tommy Asu? Oh, man. Okay, 10 minutes to go now. 18 one minutes played. If you're watching this game as a neutral, you're probably asleep right now. What a boring game this has been. Which side is Jose Mourinho managing? That's my question. Oh, here's Saka. Fantastic stuff. Still Saka. Go on, put it low in the ground. Jesus, what a go! In the 87th minute, please tell me we've won a final now. Final job, FC, to get their hands on the Europa League. What a goal. Assist, Saka. Jesus with the finish. Doesn't take a deflection. Keeper may have got a hand to it, though. He didn't. Just all side netting. And that is it. Champions of the Europa League. I mean, it's not the most fabulous competition out there. Gotta say. We want the Champions League. But we've won it. We have won it. It is a good-looking trophy to fair. Odegaard to lift it. He's finally got his chance to lift one for Arsenal. Here we go. After a tiring season. After a season we played so well. We have won a trophy. The Europa League. 29 goals through this for Gabriel Jesus. 26 and 14 for Saka. I mean, he is player of the season. That is fantastic. Martinelli doing well. Odegaard, six goals, 11 assists. That's what you want from your cam. Betting him to do slightly better next season, though. But yeah, this is how we finish the season. What do we do next season? Get your suggestions down below. Virtue will probably be upwards of 100 million, maybe 130, 150. Get your suggestions down below if you enjoy. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Turn the bell on. Want to see a Barcelona crew mode? Click my second channel here. Last season, we pretty much bottled everything. The cap Cup, the FA Cup, the Premier League to Man City. But thankfully, we did actually win the Europa League. So season two is back. And as you guys can see, we have a very good squad, but it wasn't good enough to win the Premier League. And that's what we want to do this season. And of course, win the Champions League as well. We want a challenge for it. We have a budget of £169 million pounds to spend, and we will be making some really big signings. Last season, of course, Gabriel Jesus at top did score like 27 goals. Was our top goal scorer? Did get some good assists. But this guy in some games couldn't hit a boat to water. He just couldn't score at all. So I feel we could actually sign a clinical number nine. Maybe someone like a Vlahovic from Juventus. 85 overall, 23 would cost me 90 and 114 million though. That is very expensive. Or maybe a Lautaro Martinez again from Serie A. In a Milan would cost the same money. 25, 86 overall. This guy is a little bit better in FIFA than he is I route. We've used him four and he was amazing. But before I reveal who I think we should sign, for our new number nine. Leave the video a like, subscribe if you're new. Of course, there are other positions where we could make a signing. Cancelo at right back. We don't actually own this guy. He's on loan for Man City. If we go to search for him here, you guys can actually see has a release clause of 45 million. The Man City would be willing to accept that. I don't know why, but we've had to terminate his loan so we can actually activate this release clause. 45 million. Yes, let's get that done. Let's sign the contract and get our first signing a season two over the line. His current wage is 180. 80 care week. So if we offer him 210, see what it's saying to that. I think Rice is on 230, isn't he? Don't forget, guys, it's 
a new season. Of course, we have three brand new kits. You will see the home one right here. As soon as he holds it up, reveals it. There we go. It's got some blow on it. It is looking good. Cancelo is looking good in it. Welcome back to Arsenal. Now, back to the striker situation. I actually think Victor Ozyman would probably be the best option. He's currently at Bayern Munich. Cost between 90 and 113 million. 24, 85 overall. So the same as Jesus. But this guy's a proper striker. He's going to score loads of goals and will not be bottling it in front of goal. Question is, how much will they ask for? 97 million. We're going to put that down right now. 101. Can we get below 100? I don't like going over 100. 99. How's that? 99.5. Yeah, it's fine. Doesn't leave us with a whole lot though. And here's our second signing of season two. I'm excited to get playing with this guy. He is going to be clinical in front of goal. We have this Lindgren back from loan, by the way. 79 overall and take a look at them stats. He's just wild class. Oh, he's going to be wild class. So we either find a way to get him into the side. He's 17. Or we loan him out. What do we do here? We're, come on, we're going to have to try and get him in the side. There are a bunch of players we actually have currently on the transfer list to get rid of. For example, Smith Rowe to loan him out. I don't really see us being able to use him. Jorginho, we're going to sell him. Same as Party. He's got like a six-month injury. That seems a decent deal. Smith Rowe off to Dortmund. Two years. I don't know if we're going to be able to get rid of Jorginho or Thomas Party, wherever he is, is here. 85 overall. He's got like a six-month injury, as I said. We have Lekonga back from injury. 76 overall. But I don't think this guy's going to be an amazing backup, especially in the Champions League. I would actually say Casado would be a little bit more reliable, but he's only 77 overall. Actually, a player that would be interesting for us to go in for is Amrabat. Is that how you say his name? This guy's linked to Barcelona, Liverpool, Man United. So Arsenal, it'd be a pretty good backup. Question is, though, what is his valuation? Of course, we have 21 million to spend right now. We could do a swap. Hardy worth 20 million. I don't think he's worth that much. Lakonga, maybe? I mean, 23. We're not really going to use him that much. Jorginho, 10 million. Jorginho. Okay, if we offer that, plus, I don't know, 2 million. See what they say about that deal. They want 14 million up front. That's it. Okay, how about 13 million? Lower that a little bit. 13.6. We'll just agree that. And this guy's 79 overall at the age of 26. That is actually a pretty good signing. I just don't know if we'll be able to get rid of Party or Jorginho because these injuries. We might end up just having to keep them. And time to take a look at the kits. This is the home kit for this season. It is looking nice. You have already seen it with the revealing of the new signings. Ozzyman being one of them. The point of recording this, I actually have the Realism mod installed again, so he has a real face. I don't think he did when we signed him. Now, the away kit is by far the best one. This is so nice. This is one of the nicest custom kits we've seen on the channel. I mean, let me know in the comments. Do you like this? And what do you rate it out of 10? I mean, it looks really good with the goal. Big shout out to MRY who makes these kits, of course. Link to his socials in the description. Go check out his channel. He's done an amazing job on the third kit as well. Martinelli representing this one. Pink and yellow, I think. I'm excited to wear this. Three very nice looking kits. But of course, don't forget the goalkeeper, Ramsdale. Short sleeve shirts and goalkeepers look so much better. It's bright color. That's what you expect from a keeper kit. You know where they are. Oh, I like that bit with the Adidas stripes at the where the kite corners it off there. But yeah, four amazing kits. Thanks to MOI once again. Link in the description to his socials. We now have, by the way, a massive opportunity to win a trophy. A European trophy. Second of this series. Barcelona won the Champions League and we won the Europa League. What a massive opportunity this is. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. It's been quite a while since I've played a game of FIFA like this. Oh, we're already losing one now. Great. This is gonna be amusing. Losing, isn't it? How are we losing already? This, this cannot happen. We need to win this. Hey, right, Saka. Oh, that's a run over the top there. Osman has you touched the finish. Oh, what an equalizer. It's 1-1 Arsenal. It's a big new signing, Osman. Number 21. D do we take number nine off Jesus or not? Let me know. I mean, I feel mean that we've gone and signed Osman, but you know, we're, we're winners. We want to be an elite club who's at the top, so we're ruthless like that. And that is what you get for being like that. 1-1. One, one. Barca want to get themselves back in the lead, though. Is Frank Kessie. Gavi on the ball. Slips that in behind. Nope. Oh, what a save. Oh, you're joking. You're joking. What an opportunity from the free kick here. Man on the line. Lewandowski over the wall. Oh, he's at the bar. Oh, man, that would have been big. Is Martinelli. Slips that in behind for Aguero. Oh, he's not quick. Oh, he couldn't keep it. He's won it back, though. What an interception. And we've missed it. Is Gavi. 
out wide that Torres he's got options in the box one of them Robert Lewandowski of course don't let him get it in is De Jong Gavi come on Rice get in slide in what a tackle is Ozzyman now we've got Odegaard back out wide there to Victor Ozzyman good touch to finish don't sweat it oh what a goal it's 2-1 his second goal of the game what a signing what a debut doing it in these brand new beautiful kits look at that I've tempted to pass shot it if he did that that would have definitely gone in as well here's Martinelli now he finds Ozzyman on a hat trick of course turned his man he's done so well there still Ozzyman tight angle <laughs> hits it what a save that would have been an elite hat trick is Lewandowski Torres nice passing slips that to Gavi oh what a goal it's just offside but that is insane from Barca that's a ball out wide there Belde in the box oh what is the keeper doing I didn't ask him to do that tell you what this is a game and a half what is the keeper doing stupid game either side could win it Barcelona want to win it we want to win it oh Lewandowski wants to do it in style Saka on the right though no one's gonna tackle him still got the ball beautiful Ozzyman making the run, slip through, could win it with 10 minutes to go. The possible winner, oh, what a goal. His third goal of the game, his hat-trick in his debut. The Nigerian king showing us what's in his locker. How many goals is this guy going to score this season? Let me know. Go on, ref, blow it. There we go. That is full time. We have our hands on our second trophy in this series. Second European trophy in this series. I'm just saying, if we happen to have Gabriel Jesus at top in that game, I don't think he's scoring any of them opportunities, really. But Odegaard, the captain, to lift his second trophy. And it is a good-looking trophy. Look at that. What a season we're going to have, by the way. If you're looking forward to it, subscribe and leave a like. But we have our opening game of the season in the Premier League, and it's a 3-0 win. Gabriel, Saliba, and Declan Rice. Oh, wow. Juventus are impressed with Saliba. 83 million. Absolutely not. Let's run that back. Let's get a big dub. This is Huddersfield. A 2-1 win. Aussie Man and Saka. Oh no, Martinelli is picked up an injury. No, 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 no. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. He's out for four months. Are you having a laugh? That is a massive injury. That is massive. We could play Jesus on the wing, to be fair. Trossard is probably the best option. I say that. I'm actually going to start with playing Jesus on the left wing because he's right-footed. He's got 89 dribbling and 84 pace. Surely he's a better winger than a striker. Oh, no, no. I've just realized we have Lindegren. This guy's a beast. So he will actually get game time now. Martinelli's injured. Okay, he cannot be stumbling in this game. A 1-0 win. Easy stuff. Saliba again. Right, we're now actually at transfer deadline day. And it just doesn't seem possible to get rid of Party or Jorginho because they're injuries. Don't worry, Osman's only injured for a day. But Party four months and Martinelli, four months, of course. Jorginho coming back in two. So he might be able to play before January. Not the game now, Newcastle. And it's a 1-1 draw. Gallagher for them, sack for us. But an injury for Sinchenko. But again, no need to worry. He's out for three days. Now, this is our Champions League group stage for the season. RB Leipzig, Monaco, and Genk. To be fair, that's not the easiest group. It could be harder. I, I like that. And we do actually kick off our first Champions League group stage game versus RB Leipzig. Look at this. The Emirates Stadium back in the Champions League where Arsenal belong. Oh, it could have an ugly start, though. Silver is through for Leipzig. It's 1-0 like that. Under 50. 15 minutes, we're losing. It could go from bad to worse. They've got a penalty. He's going to go to the left here. He's gone right. 2-0 Leipzig. I don't believe it. We could be losing our first game in the group. And to be fair, not just losing, we could get bad at... What's he doing? What on earth is he doing? He's just fallen over. He's Werner. What a block. Oh, this is unfortunate, man. Here he comes again. Timo Werner. Talking off. Can't hit a boat to water. What's he going to do? Oh, another block. Oh, yeah. Leipzig feeling okay. What on earth is this? Are they trying to score like 10 goals. Oh, that is a ball. That's a volley. That is the third goal. What on earth was that? That was a volley. And that's it. That's how it ends. That is humiliating. Well, we have a first North London derby of the season here versus Spurs. But where are we in the table? We've had a good start. We are second after four games. But we got a draw. So we're training Chelsea by two points. After what happened last game, I am fully ready for this one. I am not losing. Oh, we have a penalty. Lindegren. What on earth are his pens? 70 76. Jesus has 77. Do you know what? We're going to give them to him. We're going to smash this top corner, by the way. We're, we're not missing that. We're going to green it out. What a goal. 1-0. Lindegren. And here he is again. Is he left-footed? That is the question. Is he left-footed? Can we get that onto his left foot? Yes. Finesse it. 
Okay, it's not that agile, is he? But that's full time. Three points. Okay, we beat Sheffield Wednesday 2-1. First round of the Cabo Cup. Could we win it this year? Now Leicester City away. A 3-1 win. That is big. Okay, we got smashed in the first game. So do not lose this. A 2-1 win. Gabriel Jesus and Guerrero. So far in nine games, Osman scored four goals, one assist. That's actually not very good, is it? He scored three of those against Barcelona. This guy needs to start scoring a bit more. But about Apart from that, no one else wants to do anything. I think it's time for Lindegren to step up and see what he can do against the mighty Millwall. Look at that. 3-0 win. Lindegren with a goal and Ossiemann. So you can get Ossiemann scoring. But we got a three-month injury to Saliba. Why on earth has that happened then? Gutted. Absolutely gutted at that. So White's going to have to come in. It was a good replacement. Now holding on the bench. I mean, that is a big loss. But after seven games in the league, we are joint level top of the league with Man United. City of fit. Three points behind us. And who else would we have up next? The Manchester City. And after what happened last season, we want this more than they do. Or at least I think we do. Okay. Playing it out the back. Sack around the right. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thinks it's Leo Messi. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. How about we chip this up? Power shot it. Get it going. Okay. Right in the face. Right, here's Declan Rice. Oh, thinks he's Busquets. Look at that. Now I've got Zinchenko. We're going to go for it again here. Oh, over the bar. Oh, no. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, okay. Lucky. Lucky he wasn't in the box as we'd be in trouble. There's not a chance he scores this, by the way. Not a chance. Okay, he's hit that. Gone straight into it. Rebound. No, no, no. That could have been a handball as well. Come on. Where's a handball to us? Oh, look at this. No, oh, get out. Oh, everyone's going to get their Kevin De Bruyne knee pads out after that one. Look at that. Go, Just go home. No, 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 no. This, this game's vile. This game's horrible. This game's so bad. Trasad's going up front. Lindegren's going on the left. This is painful, man. This is the guy that is going to be so good this season. Look at him go. Look at him go. Slip that there to Odegaard. He can't pass. Okay. I don't believe it. They've, they've gifted us a goal. That center back, Ben and not be quick. Come on, Saka. Come on, Saka. Come on, Saka. He's got back. Still hey. Saka. Who on earth is this? Manos. Do you know what? We're going to have to try win the league, losing twice to Man City this season. It's just how it works, isn't it? Okay, Ozzyman is out for three weeks with a torn hamstring. Okay, this game, Jesus on the right, Trussard up top, Lindegren on the left. We have Monaco in the Champions League. Oh, look at this. Look at this. That is a ball to play there out wide to Jesus. Slip that there to Trussard. Nice touch. The finish. What a goal. Okay, 1-0. We're winning, finally. Oh, and just like that, we've won a game. 1-0. So, eight games in to the Premier League. Man United are one point above us. And Man City. And that is our very next game. We have them up next. Osman's not fit yet, but he's coming back from injury. Of course, we've got injuries to Party, Jorginho, Martinelli, Saliba. Got a lot of injuries. If you guys are excited for this up-and-coming game, that'll be next episode. Leave a like, subscribe. If you haven't already, Arsenal career mode is back. If you haven't yet seen me rebuilding Chelsea, the full movie, then click here to see it. Right now, we have four massive injuries. Both Martinelli and Saliba out for around three months. Two of our best players. And the big man up top, our brand new signing, Victor Rossiman, also out for three weeks. This is going to be a massive loss. Here's our top goal scorer so far with five goals, one assist. And to be fair, that's not amazing. I'd expect him to score more goals than that. So for now, Jesus is going to have to step in once again at number Number nine and Lindergren, the Youth Academy prospect on the left. Again, take a look at them stats. This guy is 18 years old as well. An absolute wonder kid. But our budget is currently 23 million. And the January window will be here very soon. So I'm on this website that is telling me Arsenal transfer rumors for this season. And there's a lot of players on here. For example, Joshua Kimmich. I've not seen him being linked to Arsenal. Perhaps you guys have for 51 million. That'd be an amazing signing. Players like Kudos from Ajax, that'd be pretty good. Lavia from Southampton. Many clubs in for him. Diaby's on here, but he's actually just gone to Aston Villa. Declan Rice, of course, that is official now. And Timber, which I'm pretty sure Arsenal aren't going to get that deal done. So if we scout a few of these players and actually add them to the shortlist, see what rating they are. Kudos, I'm pretty sure he's like 80 rated, but we'll find out. Timber's actually already on here. 41 to 51 million. This would be a great deal to get done in January. 22, 81 overall. This guy's got some good potential. Lavia is on here from Southampton, but he's only 71 overall. Would be around 10 million. I don't know why we would sign him. 
because we already have a couple of players in that CDM position. And the same with Kimmich. I mean, this guy's 90 overall. 100 and 125 million is what they'd want for him. Maybe we sign this guy in another career mode. I'm pretty sure we haven't used him yet. Our very last game was Man City and we lost 1-0. We really did absolutely nothing in that game. Of course, last season, we were in one massive title race with them. We bottled it at the end. Yep, the realism was there. But this season, after eight games, we're third. Man United are top. And as you guys can see, that is our very next game. And they have Harry Kane up top. So they actually have a striker. But they also have Harry Maguire at the back. So there is some hope in this game. Oh, no, that's a ball slip through there to Marcus Rashford. Good opportunity. It's 1-0 United just like that. Oh, no, that's not the start we wanted. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Harry Kane penalty is going to go left here. He goes left. Oh, we're not stopping that. Top left-hand corner. That is incredible. Forget Man City. Perhaps United are the team of the title race this season. If we want to get anything from this game, a draw, we need two goals rather quick. Is Saka out wide? He's going to pull that back onto that left foot. Nice pass there to Gabriel Jesus. Nice control. Shoots. Oh, what was that? And that's it. It ends 2-0. That is a solid win there for United. We can get a glimpse at goal there. Oh, you won't believe it. We have United again in the next round of the Carabao Cup. I'm not going to rotate too much because I actually want to get something from this game. But Havertz is starting. In fact, the whole midfield is rotated. Come on, just don't get humiliated here. We're at home. It's 2-1 win. Lindegren with a goal. And James Wood-Prowse. Okay, we have a scout report back for. Kudus. He is 80 rated at 23 and they want between 30 and 38 million for him. He's linked, but where would we actually play him? I think the best signing we could make in January is Timber because of course we have Odegaard, Guerra, Rice, Havertz, Ward, Prowse, Amrabat. We have so many midfielders. Yes, he can play on the right, but we also have backup wingers, so it just wouldn't make sense to sign him. After getting that LT United, we need the points in the lead. We get a 2-0 win to Bradford now. Lindegren with a goal. Lindegren with a Brace, this kid is incredible. We really needed that win after losing to United. He's now our joint top goal scorer. Nine games, five goals. This guy is a Swedish wonder kid. Question is, though, can he do it on the big stage in the Champions League versus Monaco? Is Jesus, or oh, we can actually get that out wide to Lindegren. Big opportunity. Could get an assist here. Gonna sweat it across. Jesus, oh, tap in. That is one nil. He gets an assist there. So far, he's having an amazing season. Always oh, a big chance for Monaco. Monaco penalty is going to go to the right here. He does again. Not even stoppable. Can't save that. Top corner. Oh, this is possibly the final opportunity to try and win this game. Is Lindegren going to be the man as well? We get it out wide. Is he right footed? We'll get it onto that right foot. Finesse it from here, maybe. Hits it. Yeah, straight down the middle. And that will be game. We get a point. Lindegren is left footed. He has a three star weak foot. And his best attribute is his pace. 98 pace. He's probably the quickest player in this squad. I mean, Saka has 88. I was expecting it to be in the 90s, but Lindegren, we need to get this guy playing more. Here come Leeds United in the league. We get a 1-0 win. Lindegren again. He can't stop scoring. Victor Osman is now back from injury, and to be fair, he needs to start scoring goals. And right now, in 11 appearances, Lindegren has 6 goals, 1 assist. But we now have Liverpool at Anfield. What point separates us from this side? If we want to stay in this title race, we need 3 points here. And early on, Lindegren on the ball. I mean, what a touch that was. I mean, this guy is incredible. He's 18 and is that good. He's in Chenko. Rice, nice passing. We've got Ozzyman up top. Gets that out wide there. Here's Lindegren. Now Zinchenko hit it from that nope. angle. Straight down the middle. Still got it. Gets it out wide there for Odegaard. We're playing well so far. Now he finds Ozzyman. Surely the goal 1-0. What a fantastic opener there. Welcome back from injury as well. Victor Ozzyman. Lindegren plays it forward. Odegaard with the assist. And that was a very good ball to him, to be fair. 1-0. Oh, here could be Liverpool getting back in it. Here's Jada. What? What a hand there from Ramsdale. What a save that was. That's a nice ball out wide there for Saka. He's got the pace. No one's going to catch him. We're going to get onto that left foot like that. Fantastic. Still Saka. A Salah moment perhaps. Nope. Hits it from range. Oh, no. No. Big chance. Oh, it's 1-1. One, one. That is Diageo with the goal. Just before halftime as well. I mean, what is Declan Rice doing there, man? Liverpool back in it. So far this season, every time we've played a big team, we've actually dropped points. So we really need to make sure we get all three points in this game. Here's Odegaard. Gets that wide there. Zinchenko. Osiman. Perhaps if we put this in the box. Oh, no one's on that. 
Oh, that's nope. a shot there. What a save, Ramsdale. We've got 20 minutes now to win this. Liverpool put a corner in. They win the header. Another big save, Ramsdale. Now here's Odegaard on the ball. I'm just going to hit it for nope. this angle. What a hand there from Allison. Our last opportunity. We are in injury time now. Ozzyman on the ball. Odegaard making the run. Odegaard through the gap. This could be it. Oh, no, he's taking him down. That has to be a red card. Are you kidding me? Kondopia, what's he done there? That would have been the winner. And now we have a free kick, a useless free kick. And you know what? We're, we're going to go for it. We are going to go for it. We are going to... Okay, I've wrecked that. I've put nowhere near enough power on that. Keeper saves it. Full time. We get a point. Back to the Champions League now. RB Leipzig. And that is a 1-1 draw. Do you know what? I'll take that. Zinchenko with a goal. Back to the Premier League. A 3-1 win versus Palace. That is exactly what we wanted. However, I did see an injury to Gabriel. It's one day. There we go. I swear, if we get any more big injuries, I'm not going to be happy. Of course, so far, Ozzy Money's back. Martinelli. He's coming back. Saliba still got the ambulance sign. Party coming back. Jorginho is back. We want to sell this guy for January. Get like 10 million for him or whatever. The Wolves away now. A 1-1 draw. Great. That is not what we wanted. Odegaard with the goal. So after 14 games, we happen to be five points away from top of the league Man City. They're not messing around this season. I mean, last season, we were top for how long? And we now have Chelsea. So we need to be winning this. You take a look at that squad. They do have actually quite a few tired players and we need to take advantage of that. Lindegren would play best on the right because he's left-footed, but Saka is the main man. He has to be starting on the right. I could bring in Jesus or Trussar, but for now, I'm trusting the main man Lindegren on the left. And here he is early on, on the ball, just going past a couple. That Oh, this guy! Oh, he's so good! This guy's like messy on the ball with a million pace. Oh, he's Madueke in the box. Ooh, oh, no, it's a handball! Are you kidding me? That first VAR check of season two. The ball comes in. Who is it? Is it Raheem Sterling or is it this guy? No, it's Raheem Sterling who goes to hit it. Gabriel is the suspect. Ball comes to him. His hand is by his side. It hits his face. What is this about? What does it hit his shoulder? It hits his shoulder. That's not his hand. That's his shoulder. That's not a pen. Oh, no. 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 What on earth is that? How on earth has that gone in? Abamea has just scored the worst goal we have conceded in a long time. Whips it in. What on earth is the keeper doing? What's the defender doing? Again, I'm not even calling the keeper out. Come on, Lindgren. Get something going on that left-hand side. Oh, look at this. Look at this, Gareth Bell. Look at the pace. Fake shot. He's so good. Twisting and turning to the byline. Chips it up. Saka tries to get his head on it. Odegaard. Now Lindgren. A couple of step overs to the byline again. He's going to get this one in the box. A nice dink. Keepers on it, though. That's what you need to do, Ramsdale. Oh, what is this? What is this? What are we doing? Every big team we play, we are bottling it this season. What on earth are we doing at the back there? Number 31. Little one, two with Aubameyang. Why are they even playing Aubameyang? Tell you what, this is embarrassing. This is so bad. Here's Odegaard. Slips that in behind there. Aussie man. He's going to bring that back. Maybe the pass. Oh, that's just good defense. Oh, that's a terrible pass. Odegaard, come on. Capitalize off it. Odegaard, no. Rebound, get in. Come on. Let's get the ball. Don't celebrate. Ah, oh, he's celebrating. Come on, man. They've gifted us a goal right there. They passed us the ball. Odegaard should have scored. Keeper saved it. Comes to sack it. We're back in it. That's a nice tackle. That is a nice tackle. They are bottling this. Wow, they're a London club. What do you expect? Oh, nice pass. Ozzyman. Now, White Sinchenko, come on, get in the box. I'm just going to smash this across there. Oh, no, come on, get in. What a goal, we're back in it. It's 2 all. we can win this now. Fantastic bit of play there by Zinchenko. Smashes it across. Keeper gets to it. Mistake at the back. I'm pretty sure that's an own goal by Chaloba. Have you say his name? Okay, Ossiman, make that run. Ball over the top. Come on, get there. He's going to get there. We're going to win it. We're going to win it, Ossiman. Oh, what a goal. It's 3-2. How on earth have we brought this around? There is no way this has happened. What an assist, by the way, by Guerrero. That is fantastic. The finish, top left. That is a top quality finish. And that is it. That is the win. Three points in the back. What a comeback. I don't believe this, by the way. 
we could actually end up in the Europa League. We are on eight points. Two wins, two draws, one loss. We're in a pretty good spot, but Ghent are one point behind us. Monaco, by the way, I've had a stinker. And we are actually playing Ghent. So we need to win this game. And we have Guerrero in the midfield who is suspended. That is not good. Warprouse will come in, though. That is fine. There is a corner early on for Ghent. Whipped in. I mean, it wasn't a bad corner. Get this away. Get this away. Oh, I don't believe this. How on earth is this happening? We are bottling it. A draw wouldn't be a bad result, by the way. We would be through. We'd be on nine points. They'd be on eight. But as it stands, we are in the Europa League. Oh, look at this. Ozzyman slips out there to Lindegren. It's got the pace. Has he got the finishing ability? Here he is to equalize it. There we go. This man is incredible. Lindegren. I mean, it's just about a man. He's like 18 and he's carrying us. Is Ozzyman now wide Lindegren? Oh, we could win it here. He could win it. What a shot. What a goal. 2-1. This kid is literally carrying us. Oh, here's a big chance. Ozzy Merck goes to chip the keeper. Oh, it's still gone in. It's 3-1. We are in the round of 16. No Europa League this season for us. And that is the three points. It's official. Back to the Premier League, though. A 2-0 win versus Villa. This should be straightforward. Sunderland at home. A 3-1 win. Oh, and look at this. We have a transfer offer for Thomas Party. Man United, 20 million. When his contract's expiring, so we're just going to have to accept that. And Jorginho, 9.8 in a my lad. That is an easy way to collect 30 million. So as it stands, going into January, we'll have 53 million. But evident away now. It's a 3-2 win. Just about winning that. Lindegren! No, he's got an injury. Please don't be long. It's a broken toe. It, it's fine. He's only out for five weeks. That is a relief. He will be back in the new year. We have a Cabo Cup quarterfinal here versus Leeds United. We did bottle this competition last year. To be fair, we've bottled everything so far. I am rotating slightly, fully in the midfield. We've got Martinelli on the left-hand side. Can he come back with a boom here? 3-0 win. Saka with a brace and Havertz. We now have the mighty West Ham and it's a 2-1 win. After 19 games, we are joint top of the league with Man City with 45 points. Both sides getting 14 wins, 3 draws, 2 losses. It's a good job we're beating the smaller sides because every time we play a big team, we're just straight up bottling it. And I say that as we have Liverpool now at the Emirates and of course they've beat us last time we played them. Lindegren injured, so Jesus is going to have to come and play on that left-hand side. Or Martinelli, but his sharpness is low. But I want to see some good football this game. Oh, that's a tackle there on Saka. Is that not a foul? I swear he didn't get the ball. Back out wide there to Gabriel Jesus. Maybe dink it up in the box. Saka, nice touch. Now Guero Bruh. bends it. What an earth was that? That should have been a goal. Is Ozzyman out wide. That's a run there by Odegaard. Oh, this is a big opportunity. He could finish it. I'm going to go all the way there with Odegaard. What a goal. It's 1-0 Arsenal. Martin Odegaard with the goal. The captain himself. Odegaard's making the run. I go to hit it from range. It's hit the bar. If that went in, that would have been absolutely massive. Here come Liverpool though. An opportunity. Robertson going to try to work it in the box just before the break. Nice defense. No, no, no. Salah goes to hit it. What a save Ramsdale. Here's Rice. Oh, that's a ball. That is a ball. Can he get that? That would have been uh, the assist of the season. Nice passing, though. Oh, that's a ball slip through. Ozzyman, what a chance. Looking for Odegaard. That's time. 2 0. What a performance. Odegaard has happened. Look at that top left player to watch. Indeed, his second goal of the game. The captain is on fire at the moment. Assist Ozzyman. Fantastic. Now, here comes Jesus. A third goal would be embarrassing for Liverpool. It could be a hat trick. Odegaard. It looks like it will be a hat trick. Odegaard for. Nope. The third. Oh, no, the save. That was big. That's a chip over the top. Here's Shudder. That's a ball to get back in it. What a save. Liverpool have had their moments. We haven't been all that good at the back. Here's Trent. Now worked up. Salah. Oh, big chance. Okay, that was really good defense there. Oh, no. No, no. A late penalty. A late penalty here for Liverpool. Question is, what is VAR going to say about this one? It is whipped in. Oh, his hand is up. I mean, that's more likely to be a handball for them. It hits his head. Goes off that play. There's no handball in that. I don't know what the game is talking about. He's just headed the ball. And that is full time. Three points in the bag. That was a massive, massive win there. But we have one last game 
game before the January window opens, and it's against Leeds United. Can we wrap up 2023 with a boom here? Away from home, it's a 4-2 win, a six-goal thriller. Saka with a brace. Odegaard with a brace again. Saka's our top goal scorer now, by the way, with 11 goals to assist. Ossiman with nine. He really needs to start doing better. I would expect a whole lot more from this big signing. But we are now officially in January. Party is leaving the club. Jorginho has left the club. We have 69 million. Oh, Niles and Enkedia were the other players to go. I was wondering why we had that much. But after 21 games, guys, we're top of the league. We're clear by City by five points. I tell you what, we are in some big form right now. So 70 million to spend. Is Timber the man? Do we sign him? 40 to 51 million, 81, 22. Get your suggestions down below for next episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the bell on if you haven't yet seen the full movie of me rebuilding Chelsea, then click here. The January transfer window is now open and we have 70 million to spend. The squad right now is looking very, very strong. So the question is, where do we actually make improvements? We're currently playing Gabriel and White at the back because last episode we got an injury to Saliba. But it's not a big deal because he's back in two days and I have just noticed his contract's expiring in six months. So we need to get him signed on a new deal. But last episode, we were looking at signing Timber from Ajax. 81 rated at 22. They want between 40 and 51 million for him. I said his link to Arsenal. I didn't actually realize he's actually signed and played a few games already. So I feel this episode, we need to sign this guy. I saw a comment last episode suggesting we play a formation similar to Pep Guardiola when Man City attack. Now, this isn't exactly what he uses, but it's kind of like in between what Xavi does at Barca and Pep does at City. And I really want to try this out. For example, Saka is a right forward and he's able to do this as Cancelo is a right wing back. Through at the back, Rice is a CDM, even though it doesn't let us set him as one, a centre mid. Guerrero and Odegaard, two camps in the middle, and Martinelli as a left winger. Last season, we saw a lot of coaches do this when their side attacked and a different formation when they defended. So what I'm saying is that if we played this formation, we would actually need Timber because we need an extra centre back. So we have 70 million to spend. They want between 40 and 50 million. So we've basically already signed him. The question is, how low can we actually get this? I'm going to go in with 42 million. Just test the waters with Ajax. They want Ben White. Problem is, we don't want to actually sell anyone right now. So let's up this up to 44 or 43 and a half. See what they say to that. They say yes. Let me know in the comments. Have we got a good deal there? Also, let me know how much did Arsenal actually sign him for? Here he is in the Arsenal shirt with Arteta. Smash the video a like for that. Subscribe if you haven't already as well. So here he is in our new formation on the right hand side because he's right footed and he can play right back. I mean, check that out. He has 87 pace. Our first game is against Liverpool. First leg, semi-final, Carabao Cup. We're going to go out with a strong side here. First leg, we lose 2-1. Bellingham gets a goal. Odegaard for us. Got to get it done in the second leg. But now we're in the FA Cup. Aston Villa away. It's a 1-0 win. Just about getting the job done there. Thanks to Martinelli. Now we beat Wolves 2-1. That is one massive win. Saka and Saka with a brace. We're still in this title race, by the way. We actually have the game in hand on City. City, and we're already two points clear. So we could go a whole five points clear from there. But let's not get too confident because, of course, we did bottle it last year. We get a 3-1 win. Is that a Saka hat-trick? It's a, a Saka brace, but Jesus with the other one. Now we have the FA Cup and we lose 2-1. No, are you kidding me? We crash out the FA Cup to Swansea City. Oh, man. I wanted to win that. Okay, if we want to win a domestic trophy, we've got to do it in the Cabo Cup. And as you can see, we're currently losing 2-1 on aggregate. But this is going to be our first game actually playing with this new formation. I want to see how we do. Is Rice on the ball. That's a run there for Saka. This guy's basically a centre forward now. Oh, he's just sat down. Van Dijk there. Still Saka. Nope. Can he keep it? He did so well there. Oh, great. Well, here comes Mohamed Salah. Ball out wide there. They could increase their lead and they do. It's 3-1 on aggregate. It's Luis Diaz. Are you kidding me? Well, if we want to find ourselves winning this, we need to score two more goals. We could take this to penalties. We just need to actually score. Here's Martinelli on the ball. We've got runners. We play that there to Saka. This guy's making so many good runs. Fake shot. Oh, we've just killed it, man. Salah again out wide. Little header there. Oh, this is good football. Back to Jota. Diaz. Oh, 
Oh, you're joking. That will be Liverpool in the final. They've smashed us here. I really did think this would be a walk in the park and we'd be in that final. We need a bounce back game here versus Newcastle. A 4-0 win. Okay, we're all about the Premier League, apparently. Of course, the goal of this series is to win the Champions League. We're in it this year. We made it out the group. And as you guys can see, we have Barcelona in the round of 16. So stay tuned to see that. Pretty sure that's only a couple of games away. Bournemouth now, are you joking? We, we drop points to Bournemouth. They're probably like 18th. Okay, after 25 games played, we are still five points clear. In fact, we could have been seven if we won that. We now have evident in the way in the league. Just before that Barca game, we take a corner here. Go on, hit that. Blocked by the defender. Is Guerra on the ball, though. Gets that one in the box. Odegaard, head up. Still in the box. Ozzyman wins it. Saka hits it Bruh. first time. What was that? Is Odegaard on the ball? Oh, what a chance here for Saka. He's going to get so many more goals at centre forward, by the way. No way he's missing this one. Finesse it. And there we go. 1-0 Arsenal. We're in the lead. Oh, look who's on now. The boss. Mr. Lindegren out wide. Here he is. Can he beat this defender? Of course he does. Lindegren. What was that? What was that? But one final hope possibly here for Everton. Number 17 nope. hits it. What a save, Ramsdale. No way. After beating Everton 1-0 there, we are now eight points clear from Man City. If we manage to bottle this this season, I should be sacked and never hide again. We now have that massive first leg versus Barca in the Champions League. And take a look at that squad. They have such a good defense. Best center back in the world, Araujo. Amazing midfield. The attack is great. Of course, it's Barca. Barcelona. But what will happen in the first leg? It's a 2-2 draw. Okay, we'll take that. We have a lot of work to do in the second leg. We're not winning. We're not losing. Great. And now we go get a nil-nil to Sunderland. What on earth are we doing? And now we have an injury to Benjamin White. Four weeks. See, guys, this is where signing extra center backs comes in handy. To be fair, we've not been playing Saliba. We've been playing Timber. He's good. But Saliba should be playing over him. I just filled away here. No, no, no. Let's not do this. Let's not do this. With 10 games games left to play we are four points clear for man city we were eight but we've half that to four so it's so important in this game versus brighton at home that we get all three points here's martinelli oh that's a, a ball to be played there for ozzyman he nearly missed that up in fact that's just not a great pass if we miss that that would have been embarrassing but we're winning one nil ozzyman with the goal here's odegaard out wide that's a run there for ozzyman the touch the finish two nil what a striker what a goal there Assist the finish. Everything was perfect there. Two now. Oh, it could be a hat trick. Saka, go on. Be on side. Please be on side. Ozzyman is on side. It's a hat trick. It's a third goal. The Nigerian king gets his first hat trick for Arsenal, I'm pretty sure. We didn't see how many goals he's actually scored this season. Clean sheet could be gone, though. Brighton a through. Ah, oh, near post as well. Come on, Ramsdale. Oh, but check this out. Penalty opportunity. Saka, you know exactly what we're going to do here. Penenka to nowhere. Great. Down the middle. Keeper stays there. What a fraud. Oh, Brighton have a pen. They could actually go one goal behind us here. There, one goal behind us. Great, 3-2. That's how it ends. We do get the three points. That ended up being closer than I thought it would be. Ozzyman in 35 appearances has 15 goals, five assists. Zaka, 18 and 10. That is incredible. Odegaard, seven and four. You really would expect a better season from him. I mean, Linda Grant at the age of 18, 18 goals, one assist. That is very good. But we now have the big second leg. 2-2 on aggregate. Barca, Arsenal. Oh, no. I've just realized. Saka is suspended. Look at him. On the right-hand side, right center forward, we cannot play our best player this season so far. Do we play Gabriel Jesus, Trossard, or the main man, Linda Grant? You, you guys know who we're playing. Of course, it's Linda Grant. Is Guerrero coming for. I don't even know how to say this guy's name. He's kept the ball. Is that a free kick? It's a free kick. Oh, look at this. Look at this. What an opportunity from the free kick. I'm going to put a decent amount of power on that. I'm going to click B before I hit it. That was useless. That was absolutely useless. Jesse, that's a nice ball. Oh, but look at this. Martinelli spins his man. Where on earth is Lindegren? Why is Jesus playing? Oh, he's through, though. He is through. He could pass this hit. What's Bruh. he doing? This guy is a fraud. Oh, that's a ball in behind that for Torres. Nope. Oh, what a save. That should have been a goal. He wasn't even offside. Come on, man. We need this goal. Here is Odegaard. That is a run there. Jesus over the top. Oh, no. Araujo, though. Every day of the week is getting that. Right, so halftime. Jesus is playing. I'm going to make a risky change, but I wanted to start him. Lindegren 
is coming on and he will score. Is Guerra on the ball? Slips in behind. Oh, I don't believe it. Already, Lindegren, you can't ride it. It's 1-0. It's 3-2 in aggregate. What did I say? Lindegren, the 18-year-old, silences the new camp or whatever this stadium is. What a goal that is. Oh, ball slipped there. Two Aussie Fantastic touch gone. In behind there, Martinelli in the box straight away. Nice. Lindegren, what a block. It's Cancelo in the box. Aguero, what a block. I know his name's Guerrero, whatever it is, but I just end up saying Aguero. And if it's a last minute winner, I'm shouting Aguero. Here's Odegaard on the ball. Oh, he's a game changer. He is a legend. Oh, look at this. Look at this. He's sending us to the quarterfinal. It's Lindegren. What a player. What a player. The 18-year-old firing the gunners into the quarterfinal. Single-handedly in this second leg. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Go on, keeper. Come out. I'm just going to try to lob the keeper. What am I doing? Just score the third goal. It's fine. We are in a quarterfinal. But the question is, who are we playing? That is a massive win. Oh, I've only just realized we never actually signed that contract with Saliba. It's expiring in four months. Okay, this is a real good job. We remember this. Five-year deal. Is he down for it? He's only 22, by the way. I mean, Arsenal have a really good defense. So the quarterfinal draw is in. The side we are facing is Bayer Leverkusen. That is one of the better draws we could have got. We're now facing West Ham away. I don't believe it. We've we've just dropped points again. Honestly, man, with a goal, but I mean, we've, we've dropped two points. We have eight games left to play. Man City now trail us by two points. We went from eight to four to two. And now Man City are coming to the Emirates and they're most likely going to smash us. I mean, what did I say last episode? We're going to have to try and win the league with losing twice in a season to City. We cannot let this happen this game. Do you know what? We're going to go back to the way we were playing. We're going to be playing the 4-3-3. I feel we played better with this. Saka on the right wing, Martinelli on the left, Ozzyman through the middle. Do you know what? Lindegren. We're actually going to start him on the left-hand side. This guy again will be a game winner. Okay, first seven minutes, we've put a lot of pressure on them so far. Oh, look at this in behind there for Saka looking for Ozzyman. Nice touch. Gonna bend it nope. on his left. Nice hand, Edison. Right, get this one in the box. Put the pressure on. Win that header. Oh, come on, man. Woo. What is that as well? Oh, no. De Bruyne shoots. Oh, just past the post. I thought that was in. Oh, that's a run. That is a run. Ball in behind. Here is Victor Rossi, man. Oh, go on. On his left foot from this angle. What a block. Is Zinchenko. That's a run there. Odegaard. That's a nice touch. Looking for Rossi, man. Oh, good stuff. Rossi, man, on the ball. Now to Odegaard. Bend it from there. Could have been a handball. I always say that, but it, it's not a handball. Oh, look at this. Odegaard. No, what's that? What on earth is he doing? That was a miss and a... <laughs> What's he doing? You know what? Jesus and Odegaard really can't finish, can they? It's Saka. Oh, that's a running behind there. Ozzyman, here we go. Here it is. Victor Ozzyman from this angle goes to hit it. Oh, he's hit the bar. Lindegren, nice touch. Tackled. Oh, Saka's getting away from them. Oh, look at this. Look at this. He's one on one. Do not bodily. It's not called Odegaard. It's not called Jesus. It's Saka. He's going to finish it. 1-0 Arsenal. We are now five points as it stands. Player of City in the league. What a goal that was, Saka. Mistake from them from losing the ball from the corner. I mean, bad bit of possession there. And they had no one at the back. That's 1-0. Oh, look at this. Zinchenko. This is fantastic. Odegaard. Oh, we don't want him thrown goal. Look at him go. Zinchenko. Out wide. Now to Odegaard. The bottle job. Oh. Oh, he scores in the last minute of the game. It's 2 0 Arsenal. We, as it stands, five points clear from the league. Looks like we're going to win the league. Weird thing is, I finessed that with his right foot, and he went for the Travella with his left foot. What a finish. Fair enough. Go on, Linda Grant, get in there. Oh, there we go. Fan favorite. Good stuff. Get yourself a yellow card. Play it for the fans. And that's it. That's game. Three points in the bag. We have Bear Leverkusen now. Where are they in the Bundesliga? They're fourth place on 61 points. Oh, they're a million miles away from fifth, a million miles away from third. So they're going to finish fourth. They have six games left in the league to play. And it's a 2 0 win away from home. First leg. That is massive. It's still not over. We're not yet in the semis, but that is massive. Saka and Odegaard. I've just realized we might as well switch back to this formation because we beat City quite comfortably with that. We now have Millwall. And as you can see, they have eight points. So. Do not bottle this. If any team, they're, they're probably rock bottom. We get a 3-0 win. Martinelli, Saka, and Rice. That's his 21st goal of the season. Still 10 assists. 16. So as we last looked, 
in five games, he's only scored one more goal. Oh, look at this. This second leg, we have a massive suspension. Declan Rice, Amrabat is going to have to come in. Oh, you know for a fact we're playing Lindegren on the left-hand side as well. I guarantee he scores. We're at the Emirates at home. We're winning by two goals. Leverkusen needed a strong start. They could do with an early goal for the momentum. They could get it. They could get it. They've got it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This game could be a whole lot different to the way I want it to go. I said they needed an early goal. They need a good start. They need that momentum. They've got it. Here they come again, though. Slips the ball. Nice touch. Oh, nope. this is good. This is good from Leverkusen. I tell you that. Oh, they are ready for this one. We need this third goal. We really do. We need the cushion. Get the confidence. Else we're going to turn into Barcelona at Anfield. Linderen over the top there. For Zinchenko in the box. Look at that. Ozzy. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. We, we signed the biggest frauds ever. What is that? We, what's he doing? He probably had his eyes closed as well. Half time it is. We are winning by one goal. It's Odegaard on the ball. Nice dribbling there. He is a very, very good player. Look at Odegaard go. He's going to make the pass there to Aguero. Agu 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 I've gone and bottled it. I don't even know how to say his name. If I knew how to say his name, I would have scored it. Now I've got Aguero. Sergio Aguero. Let's just embrace it. Here he is. Puts it into the box useless no here's number 11 no no nope. oh man go on ping this one forward ping it forward ottoman's very good in the air A winning headers not scoring headers as we know go on play that into his feet here he is Go around the keeper. Go around the keeper. What a goal. Lionel Ozzyman. Fantastic. Look at that. 3-1 on aggregate. Semi-final. Surely we're in it. That is a very powerful pass around the keeper. Yeah, see you later. Sit down. Final counter-attack off the game. Ball in the box. Saka, touch, finish, 4-1. Check this out. Arsenal, semi-final of the Champions League. A competition that they will win this season. And we're going to make sure that happens. We're in the semi-final. And the semi-final draw is in. The side we are facing is Manchester City. Oh, you're joking. You're, you're having a laugh. Our rivals from the Premier League, the, the, the team that just slaps us up every season, could be the team to... Oh, great. Okay, Real Madrid. They're, they're the other side, you know. Mr. Champions League. Is 14 enough? They want 15. We're going to have to stop them. But I'm pretty sure last time we looked at the table, I thought Man United were Man City. But they're in the title race. I mean, if Liverpool win the next game, it's us versus Liverpool. We'll be three points ahead of them. I mean, I don't know where five points clear came from, but I've got this mixed up. But Liverpool are in the title race. I tell you what, this side is playing well. It is doing well. We are hunting down that Premier League trophy. We're hunting down that Champions League trophy. We've already won the UEFA Super cup this season the Europa League last year we were bottle job FC from North London last season but this season it's gonna be different if you guys haven't yet seen me rebuilding Chelsea the full movie then click here to see it this is the finale episode of this Arsenal series and by the end of this video we could be Champions League champions and also Premier League champions as you can see we're facing Manchester City in the Champions League semi-final our biggest rivals in this series and right Right now, with six games left to play in the Premier League, we find ourselves four points clear from Man United. But Liverpool have a game in hand. If they win it, we'll be three points clear from there. Honestly, we have built an incredible side during this series. I mean, the midfield, the defense, the attack, Aussie man up top. As you can see, he has 17 goals in 41 appearances, five assists. I would say it's slightly disappointing. We signed this guy for like 100 million. But Saka, an extremely good season, 22 goals, 10 assists, definitely being our best player. And Lindergren, the Swedish wonder kid, 18, 82 rated, 10 goals, 3 assists. At 18, that's insane. We may be top of the league right now, but we do have tough games coming up. As you can see, we have Villa, Chelsea, Leicester, Tottenham in May, and the final two games, Brentford and Manchester United. If we want to win the league, we need to be on top of our game. So if you guys are excited for this finale episode of this Arsenal series, then drop the video a like, subscribe if you're new, and let me know down below the next series you want to see. But as I said, our first opponent, Aston Villa, and it's a strong 2-0 win. Martinelli and Gabriel. Okay, everyone has actually played 33 games now, and we find ourselves four points clear from United. Liverpool must have lost. Oh, you can see on the right-hand side there, they lost 2-1 to Man United. So going into this game at Stamford Bridge, we do have the advantage. We have to be winning this, man. We really do. Martinelli, he may have scored last game, but you guys know, Linda Grant is the GOAT. He's, he's going on the left. He will score. Gabriel, nice bit of play. 
Get it out wide, Saka. He has a left foot, not going to shoot. That's a free kick. We have the free kick in a very, very good opportunity here. Okay, we're going to get this over the wall. We're going to put a decent amount of power on it. We're going to press B before we hit it. Oh, it goes into the wall. Is Guerra coming forward? Sergio Guerra on the ball. Oh, that's a foul. Is that a red card? Oh, the referee's going to send him off, isn't he? Oh, he's not going to buck him at all. Great. Okay, we have a free kick, though. Come on, Declan Rice. Come on. You're capable of this. Long shot. We hit it. Bruh. I'll take that. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this opportunity. We have an incredible chance here. I'm going to put a bunch of power on that with Jesus. We're going to press B before we hit it. Nope. Oh man. I was expecting a whole lot better than that. Oh, here's Chelsea. Counter attack. They hit it over the bar and we get a point in that game. We could have lost it at the end there. But we dropped two points. We're now two points clear from Manchester United with four games left to play. But now we have the massive first leg. Man City. We are at home. The second leg will be at the MT St Strongest side going out. Come on, do not lose this. It's a 1-1 one -one draw. Zinchenko picking up a knock. And Guerrero with the goal. And Zinchenko is out for three days. But straight back to the Premier League. Playing Leicester at home here. We have to be winning. Oh, and what an opportunity here for Saka. We slipped that there to Oziman. Oh, we're going to sweat it across. Of course we are. We need to confirm that goal. Why are we 3-0 up? Wait a minute. <laughs> What's going on? We're 3-0 up, man. Playable highlights. It's absolutely amazing. Declan Rice slips that in behind there for Victor Ozzyman. Oh, big chance here. Come on, keeper, come out. I wanted a lob in, but that's the four. I don't know where the first two came from. Okay, this is just funny at this point, honestly. It, it really is. Oh, we have James Ward-Prowse on the pitch. Oh, this is good. This is good. Okay, let's put a bunch of power on that. Get it around the wall. Press B. Oh, great game. Doesn't want to see it. This game, man. Honestly, that'll be an assist, Ozzyman. Here we go. Martin and a 5-0. Leicester City. Enjoy the championship. What a goal. Okay, honestly, what is happening in this game? We could score a sick fair. Saka. Now to Ozzyman. Look at this. He's not going to sweat it. He's going to finish it. That's the 6-0. Six, six Leicester City have been wrecked. No, what is this, man? We could score a seven. The stat pad of Victor nope. Rossi. Oh, he's missed it. He's bottled it. But that is the win. 6-0. We should have had seven, man. Ozzyman, he scores a hat trick. 13 attempts. Are you having another four goals? What is that? Takis comes to me saying, we were going to talk about my contract situation, weren't we? I've heard heard nothing from you. I'm not happy about that. Okay, straight up, I forgot. I, I mean, I don't know what this is about. But our best player, he's slightly unhappy about... Submitted a transfer request. What do you mean? Okay, he still can negotiate. We're about to go in to one of the biggest games in the club history. Honestly, they've never won the Champions League. And this is a chance to get to the final and finally win it. Yeah, what, yeah we'll just accept that. 150k a week. Just be happy and play well in this game. This is massive at the empty hat as well. Take a look at that city side man the midfield the defense the, the offense to be fair alvarez over Haaland. what's that about to be fair martin has done really well this episode so far so we're gonna start him on the left hand side linda Gren's not gonna play might come on in the second half though he's bernardo silva early on zinchenko always won the ball back good stuff now here comes martinelli Oh, he's got around the, the defender there. Walker has kept it in as well. Mar Martinelli, look at him go. Ossiman, drift back post. Go on, get it in the box. Oh, yeah, keepers on that. Oh, that's another tackle. Zinchenko He's going to keep it in as well. Over the top, Ossiman. Good stuff. Flick it up over the defender. Oh, Neymar vibes there. Oh, Victor Ozzyman, what a goal. 2016 Neymar there. What was that? Check this out. I could have continued going with it. I wanted to do something fancy. Meets the top corner as well. Wow. 2 1 an aggregate. Oh, no, he's silly. He's a big chance. That's a shot. What a save. Oh, he's won that well. Victor Ozzyman, good stuff. We need support here. He can't go all the way. Odegaard making the run. Ball over the top. Ball out wide there to Martinelli. Our keeper's on it. Oh, that's a nice header. Here's Martinelli. Pulls it back. Good stuff there. Do you know what? Pass up from range. Winding it up. Not far away. Odegaard. Ball over the top there. Ozzyman. Oh, he takes it down nicely. Goes to lob the keeper. What am I doing? Just finish it. That could have been game if I scored that. Oh, Zinchenko's having a game and a half again. Over the top there for Ozzyman. On the volley left foot. Oh, just past the post. I tell you what, that third is coming. Pep's got his shirt off. Fair enough. Oh, he's Phil Foden. 
Works it in the box. Alvarez near post. Oh, the rebound is offside. Surely. Come on. Is it yes, there we go. Sit down, Mares. Go play football in a camel league. I'm just hoping they do not bring on Erling Haaland. Because Alvarez just isn't really doing a whole lot at the moment. I tell you what, Osiman, this episode has been fantastic. Here's a good opportunity. Surely the third. Victor Osiman. What a save. Go on, get that back in. In the box. Oh to nope. God, what a save again. Oh no, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. What did I say? Alvarez, he's done nothing. And then goes and gets the equalizer. 2-2. Two -two. City back in it. That's some horrible defending. Look at that. We have had so many opportunities this game, and we just have not finished them. We could have, like, five goals now. Here's Martinelli in the box. Go on. Look for Ozzy, man. Oh, I mean, that's another chance that we should have scored from. There's Phil Foden out wide on the left-hand side. We've got 15 minutes to play. If that went in, I'd have cried. This is getting 10 to this point. City need that goal. Arsenal need that goal. Oh, look at that. Come on, let's get away. Let's get away. Let's break. Oh, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. Look at this. Look at this, Ozzy, man. What an episode he's had. Surely he doesn't bottle this now. Victor Osimhen shoots. What a goal. 3-2 on aggregate. Arsenal surely in the final. If we hold on to this lead now. Ball played through. Did he have the bottle? Yes, he did. The confidence, the composure, the finish. It's 3-2. Oh, Grealish. No, no. What a save there. Get that gone. He really got that gone. Oh, no, De Bruyne. That is class. Nah, nah. Come on now. Come on now. No, please. Oh, I don't believe it. No. Odin in the last five. Five minutes gets another equalizer. Well, it was Alvarez to get the first. He gets the second. De Bruyne, that was class. Oh, man. It's the same as Alvarez's goal. No, 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 no. Jack Grealish. Come on, come on. Get a tackle in. Get a tackle in. Bill Foden hits it. Save. I tell you what, City have the momentum right now. Oh, they've got Edison in the box. Why on earth do they have Edison in the box? Whipped in. Keeper comes out and gets it. We, we will not be able to score an open goal unless. Come on, Saka. Ref, don't blow it. Don't blow it. Referee, don't blow it. No, he's blown it. Okay, so extra time, and City have the momentum right now. They're at home. They've got the crowd going, all seven of them. Come on. Here is Martinelli. He's going to slip that in behind there for Ossiman. Here's a big chance through the gap. Looking for the bottle job, Odegaard. Oh, he scored it. It's 4-3. He's finally scored an important goal laid on. That could be the goal that sends us to the final. Arteta's getting involved. This goal is massive. I cut inside. Wanted to shoot, but pass it to Odegaard, and he didn't bottle it. Get in. Oh, it might not be over here. City. No. No. Oh, I don't believe it. What is that? De Bruyne. Oh, no. Pep. I swear if Pep, shirtless Pep, gets involved in this celebration. I'm not going to be very happy. Okay. He doesn't seem to be there. That's fine. What on earth is this, by the way? W what are we doing? What is that? Okay. Second half of extra time here. This, this, it's all down to this or pens. I mean, we could lose it in this. We could win it in this. Go on, Aussie man. Go on. That's the run. He's in behind. Come on. This has to be the goal. We've won it about 20 times in this game. Aussie man. Oh, the save. I left it too late, man, to shoot there. I should have shot earlier. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a nice tackle there. Good stuff. Come on. Aussie man on the ball. Saka make that run. There we go. Out wide on the right hand side. Martinelli. That's a run. This could be a late winner. Out wide there. Martinelli. Now Odegaard. Odegaard. Looking for. Oh, yes. Get in. Oh, that's the winner. It's 5-4. It's on side. I was looking for Aussie man. It went to Guerrero. I don't believe it. We are not going to Pens. We're in a Champions League final. Look at this. Look at that. I felt we did get lucky there with the deflections. What a game this has been. I, I don't know what Aussie man's doing. He's, he's trying to score himself as a goal. There we go, Pep. Sit down. And that is it. It's official. We're in a Champions League final. Probably playing Real Madrid. And what do you look at that? Of course, we're playing Real Madrid. They've, they've won it 14 times. They're in the competition. We've won it none. Uh, it's going to be hard. But back to the Premier League. We've got some tired players. Oh, this is not good. We have a North London derby. We're cleared by United by four points. And if we lose this, it goes down to one, of course. It's, it's going to be tense. And we've got to rotate. We can't go out like this. Luckily, though, we actually have the players to be able to rotate. I would say this is a strong enough side. Ooh, sack up penalty here. I tell you what, we're going to smash this top left-hand corner. Press B before we hit it. That is a beautiful penalty. Loads of power. 
power on it. 1-0, Arsenal. We're winning in the derby. Okay, we're already in the 86th minute. This could be the very last opportunity of the game. And if they score it, we'd be getting a point. Oh, that's a header. Could have been a handball. Get this away. No! What are we doing there? Why are we playing it out the back? Why are you celebrating? It's bad. It, it's a point. You, you're going to be playing the conference league. Sit down. And we do end up getting a point. What? We're now two points clear? Okay, by Munich. Can you please go away? But please, 195 million. He doesn't want to play in the Bundesliga. Come on, he's competitive. Oh, Man United have bottled it. What a surprise. We're four points clear from them. But if Liverpool win, we are two points clear from them. This is going to be close. Oh, I'm risking it here. Simon it versus Brentford. We get a 1-0 win. Saka, there we go. By Munich, you're not having him. So it comes down to the last game of the season versus Manchester United. They can't win the league now. It's us versus Liverpool. If we lose... In fact, I've just realised we've both got 48 goal difference. If we get a point, we're on 88. If Liverpool win, they're on 88. Do we really need to be beating Man United here? Uh, and that's not an easy task. And it's at Old Trafford as well. This is one tough game. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Yes, Declan Rice. No! Oh, get out. Oh, no. Oh, it's Harry Kane as well. Of course it is. Of course it's Harry Kane. Declan Rice, what are you doing? I was about to praise you because that was sick. What's the keeper trying to do? Is he trying to save it with his feet? Okay, so, so far, we're, we're really bottling this. By the way, if we lose this game, we've lost the league. If we managed to bottle this, I'll be embarrassed. Just truly embarrassed. I'm going to hit that from there. Go on, Martinelli. Oh, what a save. Ball out wide there to Marcus Rashford. Go on, watch it. Harry Kane passing it around. Bruno, edge of box. Number 22 goes to hit it. Got to be in a handball. Martinelli, go on. Ozzyman will slip that out wide. What a block. Chris Smalling is back. Good old Mike Smalling. Oh, look at this. Marcus Rashford back to Kane. Oh, come on, man. Man United playing so much better than us. Here's Odegaard on the ball. Come on, what are we going to do here? Spin around. Get this ball out wide. Here is Zinchenko looking for Ozzyman there. Still Ozzyman on the ball. Oh, he's lost it. About to run there. Asaka. Here he is. Onto that left foot. Oh, I tell you what, Smalling is having a good game. So Thomas Party, we sold him to United, and he could be the reason, or part of the reason, we miss out on a league title. Fantastic. Here's Ozzyman on the ball. Good stuff. Now looking for Odegaard. Slips the ball to him. Odegaard! What a goal! What a finish! There posts the captain. It's level. What a beautiful finish this was. What a beautiful goal. Look at this. Near post. Boom! Go on, show us a better angle. This isn't quite the angle, but that is a goal and a half. Okay, so, so far, we have a point in this game because we're drawing. We need to be winning this game. So, this second half is massive. Odegaard on the ball. Out wide there for Martinelli. To the byline. Go on, shove it in the box. Good touch. The finish wasn't there. Here comes Martinelli. Slips that in behind there for Odegaard. Oh, the dribbling. Fantastic. Odegaard. Ossiman. The finish. Get in. It's 2-1. We are winning. I thought he bottled it there when he took a touch. I don't know why he didn't just finish it. But that is fantastic. Odegaard. I was so tempted to go all the way with him. But yeah, just pass it. Get the assist. Get the goal. We are winning 2-1. United really have collapsed in this second half, haven't they? Oh, look at this. This could be a third. Here is Odegaard for the nope. third. What a save. Oh, back in the box. Aussie man, take it down. Handball. I swear I saw a handball in there somewhere. 15 minutes to play. Man United, if they score one goal, it could take the league title away from us. Oh, that's a good ball there to Martinelli. Here he is. He's got the speed. Him versus Wamba Saka onto that right foot. Slips it. Oh, Wamba Saka wins that. Okay, fair enough. No, what are we doing there? No, no, come on. Nope. Come on, man. If we lost the title to that, I'd be fuming. Five minutes left to play. De Gea is not in the box. Oh, no, 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 no. What a save. Okay, this is horrible. This is just truly horrible. We've got moments left of this game. United, so close to getting a goal. Oh, just get it away, please. De Gea is in the box now. Is he going to do an Allison? This would be so horrible, man. What are you doing, Ozzyman? He's nodding it back in the box. It's not gone. It is not gone. No. No, 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 I don't believe it. Harry Kane of all people gets the equalizer. Please tell me that hasn't lost us the league title. Oh, man. Oh, no, this is horrible. What on earth are we doing there? At this moment, I thought, yeah, it's gone. It, it's gone. Oh, do we have time? Uh, Bruno getting in there with the tackle. Fair enough. Saka, come on, come on, come on. It's time. 
It, we don't have to rely on a point. We can win this game. We can win this game. Ossiman, lay it on. Ossiman from the sun. What a save. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Odegaard, show us something, man. Bruh. Show us uh, What is that? What on earth was that? Okay, it's over. It is over. Have we won the league or not? That is the question. Okay, it doesn't look like anything's happened. Liverpool beat Huddersfield 2-1. So we drew. They win on goal difference. I, I I believe. I'm correct. I do not believe it. Come on, man. It, it, what is wrong with North London? If, you're, if your club is located in North London, you, you bottle jobs. This is embarrassing, man. Come on. How on earth did we lose that by a goal of goal difference to Liverpool? That's embarrassing. Right, let's go win a goal competition they've never won to truly be a massive club you need to win this i've got to beat this real madrid side look at that that is very good no, 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 no. Come on, man. Okay, potential penalty. Handball check. Ball comes in. It's Saliba. Oh, what is that? No. Okay, it, it it hits his chest. It comes off it or in it. Hits his hand. What is that? I mean, I don't know what he's doing there. Benzema, we're going to go to the left. He penankers us down the middle. He penankers us down the middle. 1-0 Madrid. Is Saka. He finds now Ozzyman. Gets that out wide there. Big opportunity. Here is Martinelli. What a goal. I thought he skied it, but it's an equalizer in the Champions League final. The assist from Saka was amazing. The finish, Martinelli. Look at that on his left foot. Keeper didn't get a hand to it. Top left. He did. He did get a slight hand to it. Still went to a corner though. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, what a save. That is massive. One of the saves of the season. This this is turning out to be one of them games as well. We're only 37 minutes in. Get your head on that, Saka. Get that away. Oh, we've got a breakaway opportunity here. We've got a really good breakaway opportunity here. Odegaard. Can he dribble all the way? Militao tracking back. Oh, the God. Can he go all the way? Yes, he can. It goes off the keeper and in. It's 2-1. Five minutes before the break. Odegaard with the breakaway attack and the goal. Check this out. Comes off the keeper with the finish. In fact, keeper. What on earth is he doing? He's the best goalkeeper in the world. He hits it. He will be disappointed with that, man. It's 2-1 Arsenal. Approaching the hour mark in the game now. Madrid trailing. And we're passing the ball away. Come on, man. We are expected not to be winning this final. And we're passing them the ball. You can't be doing that. It's Saka. Slips that there to Ozzyman. What a big chance this is. He's going to pull this back. What is that? I want a fake shot. No, whatever that was. On Zinchenko. Slide in there. Okay, that was horrible. Nope. Oh, what a save. Oh, no. Benzema. Oh, G Gabriel, this game, by the way. Man of the match. He has been clutch. Saka. Now Rice. Slips that out wide there. Oh, the clutch man at the moment. It is Odegaard. Lops the keeper. What a save. Here he is, Gabriel. He plays a big ball out wide. Uh, uh, this guy has been insane this game. Martinelli from this angle. Come on, try bend it. Can we keep that? We do. Go on, just keep the ball. Pass it around. Get it out wide. Go on, get this in. Get this in. Here is Odegaard. Holds it up. Good stuff. Loses it. Referee blow it. Referee blow it. Yes, there we go. We are Champions League champions. First time in Arsenal's history. I'm pretty sure we didn't win the Carabao Cup this year. I really hope we didn't win the Carabao Cup this year. Because if so, we have won the Europa League, the UEFA Super Cup, and the Champions League. Three European trophies. That'd be pretty sick in this series if we won three European trophies, but no domestic trophies. That'd be sick. Oh, they got to lift it. There we go. Europa League last year. Champions League this year. If you guys have enjoyed this series, smash it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. As I said, let me know down below what series you want to see next. Arsenal fans, enjoy the scenes. This may happen one day. Will it happen under Arteta? I don't know. If you guys haven't yet seen me fixing Chelsea, the full movie, then click here.